All right, so we're we're live um, again. Uh, <laughs> so 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 some people have an idea of what I'm talking about. Others may not. Um, so it is a special D and D edition here, as we're doing it on a Sunday instead of a Saturday due to uh, some emergencies that popped up yesterday. So thank you for everyone that's joining and bearing with us here, especially the players. Thank you for kind of accommodating the stuff that happened. Uh, so we are playing our D&D session today instead of yesterday. And we'll start off with introductions. Uh, we'll get some announcements and then we'll do a summary of the official last session, not the yesterday session. And then we'll get started here. So we'll start at the top with Miss Alchi. Uh, pass. Give me, give me three minutes. <laughs> start the timer. <laughs> the children We're off to a wonderful first. start. Yeah. <laughs> this is starting <laughs> swimmingly. All right. Next up is Johnny. I'm playing as Reed Tea Leaf, uh, twin brother of River Tea Leaf, halfling rogue assassin, hand of the king. Oh god, here we Keeper go. Keeper of titles. I don't have many myself, so Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm 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 slightly more modest than the average hand. <laughs> that's, that's what she said. That statement is definitely ugh. Okay. Oh, I totally missed it. I was arguing with my eleven year old. <laughs> Reed has a modest hand. Okay. Next up is Hadlin. <laughs> There's Corin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm King Hadlin Brideax, your slightly cocky dwarven elf. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, I hope I'm next. Let's just say that my, so that was great. my uh, uh, titles are really long. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Yeah, I'm uh, a post it and a half deep on them. Next he up. likes giving people the shaft of his axe. Uh, that's just appropriate. Next up is Grim. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I can live up to that last one, though, dude. <laughs> but, uh, well, I'm playing the party's cleric. The eater of sandwiches. And he's an orc. Named Drom. Yeah. Sounded so enthused. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Lady Pool. I need caffeine. I play River Tea Leaf, twin to Reed Tea Leaf. God, I can't talk. Um, fire shoulder cannon for drum, <laughs> <laughs> and expert at hide the weasel. <laughs> Wow, that an ex expert. That is that is probably the most illustrious title of all. Just... <laughs> Told you I would make it worse. Uh huh. All right. Let's see if it can get any better. Next up is Ranger. Uh, I play Leo, the uh, Elvish Ranger, and I guess the only thing I could add is masturbation. Let's continue. All right. We're going to go back to Ouchie. Who I think is here now. Ooh, say yeah. masturbation. Can can you hear me? Yeah. Can yes. you hear me? Okay, because my thing's not lighting up. That's weird. Um okay. Hi, I play Elioni. She'd like Hadalyn to repeat what he was saying earlier, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> um here we see myself performing at the Embers Feast to the new a luxury dining experience in Kegheim. Where perhaps me and Hylik will have a Jessica Rabbit off one day. <laughs> oh, masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think Finn might be regretting his decisions today. <laughs> Too late. Sorry. <laughs> God. All right, we are uh, missing DPK. You're forgetting someone. 
you, yeah, I was going to say you're forgetting yeah. someone. No, 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 I haven't forgotten. Uh, we, we are missing uh, DPK, who plays Hyluck, the party's uh, Herringon bard. I'll inter- I oh. play Hyluck, the, the party's <laughs> College of Eloquence bard. And I provide inspiration. Hyluck, do you want to do a Jessica Rabbit off someday here at this fabulous restaurant? I don't know if my voice can go that long. I think I've gotten... <laughs> Please, uh, please don't. I have gone soft. <laughs> okay, I'm broken. <laughs> Yay! We broke the deal. I'll be right back a minute. We haven't even played anything yet. Oh, with ourselves. Uh, <laughs> very. Leo, is that how you're going to distract the driders? <laughs> yes, I would thought I'd go up to whip the, it out. The spider <laughs> monsters be like. Oh, hello there. I'd like to show you my fish and bait if you get my drift. Why are you stabbing oh, me? Stop thing. stabbing me. <laughs> bait and tackle. Is it the bait and tackle? I don't know. That's or not that a the sword move they're stabbing use? you with. Ooh, my twigs and berries are being eaten. <sighs> my monsters! <laughs> okay. I, I don't regret any of my decisions. I'm happy we're playing. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through some announcements and then we'll jump into a summary. So, um, I think announcements wise, uh, tomorrow there will be marbles. So, hopefully, you guys can join for that. Yay! Um, and then Tuesday evening, plan for some Magic the Gathering, actually. So, Yay. We'll magic on Tuesday, marbles tomorrow, February 6th through 9 is MegaCon. So if you guys are able to start making your plans to head to Orlando for MegaCon, you can buy your tickets. Uh, the early bird ends kind of mid-July. So make sure you get your early bird uh, tickets if you're able to join, hotel, all that kind of fun stuff. We're going to be celebrating, hopefully, having raised $100,000 for charity. So uh, make sure you guys can join us for that. Um, let me see. Any announcements on your end, Ranger? Uh, no. I think we need to cover the ACS stuff. I guess we're kicking that off in August. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll know more more then. Soon. But yeah. Yes. PM. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 So, I'll, uh, why does the new lady say Thursday is Phasmo? Because she says it's her birthday. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. well, well, get your asses in the Discord, goddammit, and go join our good Canadian friend up there in Canadian with all the other I will make a note and try. So Thursday. Okay. So that's a note for Finn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we buy Stream Loots cards? Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, I was just looking at that loots. too. Like, eh? Oh, it's fast. Oh. No, no, right now. A thing for Stream Loots just came up. Oh, yeah, the bot will keep posting it. It's always up. It's just, yeah. Get my pay. So today may be a, a, a mini stream week. Okay. Um, let me see. So I think that's it for announcements. Yeah, there's nothing major here. Yeah. So be on the lookout for all the ACS stuff. It should be coming in the next couple months. So keep yeah. your eyes out for that. And again, we're pushing for 100,000 total raise this year. I think our total we need is somewhere around like 11,800, something around there. So is it? I thought we raised more than that last year. I, th- I thought it was less than that. No, no, we had a much bigger... We needed like 21,000 or something last year. We got, I think, just under halfway through that one. I have to double check uh, the numbers. We're somewhere around there. Somewhere around the 11,000 mark. Okay. Um, so we'll have that. And then, uh, yeah. So with that, we'll go ahead and jump into a summary. So the group on the previous session had disposed of the cultists. And with the help of the legend of King Hadlin himself burst through the boulders that had barricaded the stairwell. Upon doing so, they went up a stairwell that went 300 feet, um, (laughs) still under the effects of this area that they are at. And while fighting that, they made their way all the way up to the top of the staircase, where they made their way to a uh, room. It's a very large room, 
Um, it was 300 feet deep, 60 feet wide, and kind of in the middle horizontally as you walk in about uh, roughly about 80 feet in, there was a stone uh, thing kind of in the middle floating good description yeah well you guys never really figured out exactly what it was so um yeah, we that's did. The... what did you figure out it was a stargate <laughs> <laughs> it's it a foggate f fog it was a cover stone for a stargate gate. <laughs> it was a vecna pinata come on <laughs> so there was a stone Sorry, thing. My daughter just no, heard it was what... Vecna, now she's like, no, 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 run, run now. <laughs> yeah, it was. See, the 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 cultist spent a really long time completing one of those magnetic ball ma- uh puzzles. And we ruined it. And you we did. ruined it for him. You did. You completely no ruined it. it. It's ruined. <laughs> ruined. Completely ruined. Okay. What the hell is ruined? It's ruined. That's an old. That's an old. Mm-hmm. All right. Groot's little Re- brother. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's an old reference that some people understand. Some don't. Okay. I understand it. I know. Which is sad. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, it, it's related to Bob Ross. I'm just going to leave it at that in part. Um, so the group had come across this stone thing that was made of different pebbles held together by magic and done so very exquisitely to the point where only very close and high level inspection was able to find that in between the pebbles were very thin kind of threads of magic that were holding all of these pebbles together the group proceeded to do physical attacks on the stone and unfortunately there was no effect although there were some very interesting attacks that were being done but no effect on the item Um, But when they entered into the room, Balin went right to it and proceeded to fall to his knees. Um, In a struggle that appeared to be of a mental capacity, he was fighting against this, and the group decided to put their efforts, combining their runes, to help Balin fight this stone thing. At which point, his normal shadowy form with wings managed to uh, break and was now made of light instead he was shiny he was (laughs) and with the help of a raven on his uh raven queen sword proceeded to fly and stab this stone thing in the middle breaking the magic that held these pebbles together and the pebbles came crumbling to the ground uh balan then fell onto the ground in an exhausted and not zero hit point, but passed out exhausted kind of way. Um, The group then proceeded to kind of look around, see if they saw anything, did not find anything amongst the rubbles, and then decided they were gonna go back and see maybe what the cultists had had on them. Uh, Reed stealth, Drom and Havlin helped Balin up while Balin is still um, not fully with it. And as Reed approached the staircase, Driders came down from the walls with one saying in the bag, get the forged armor. And the Driders had landed. And now we will start the combat that is happening here. So uh, the Driders get their surprise round and Reed is not seen. So the first one that goes is the one on the left. Now, as part of what happened uh, yesterday, uh, everyone is kind of aware in this deja vu kind of moment that the one on the left is getting ready to cast Fairy Fire. So I will ask appropriately this time, does anyone want to do anything knowing that? I wonder who will do something this time like they did last time. <laughs> I will kiss my bicep and counter it. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> and yes, I still know I have my armor on. That's why I'm kissing the armor. <laughs> Come and get it, big boys. 
Oh my god. Okay. So, the one on the left proceeds to cast Fairy Fire, and it does get countered by Hadlin. The one on the right uh, moves closer to Ellie, and then proceeds to do an attack. Uh, it's full attack, and it is surprising everyone, so it does have advantage on this round. So Don't we kind of deja vu our way out of that? Not that one, no. Oh. <laughs> Not quite that one. Tried. <laughs> All right. So, uh, first attack. Okay. So the first attack is going to be a. Where's my drider sheet? There it is. Uh, Twenty-eight to hit. Who are we hitting? Ellie. You. Oh. Oh, that's right. We're starting over. So, um, I need to do my shield. Oh, wait. Yeah. If it helps with the 28. My, yeah, I'm 22. Hit. Oh, actually. Oh, no, it won't. It'll only get me to 27. Okay. Well, my then, AC then... is 22 right now. Okay. So... What, what, no, use your use your shield, and I will I will burn a channel divinity to reduce their attack by 5. Oh. Okay. I will do shield then. I'm not going to click it, though, Finn, because it's already clicked from yesterday. That's is that not... okay? Yep, All right. that is fine. So and that's then. my reaction. Okay. So Thanks, you're, Tom. and it's minus five for just this one attack. Um, I think it's just one attack, right? Yeah. I think it's just one. two and attack roll, so just one. Okay. So the first attack fails. Next attack. Uh, it's 24, but you have your shield up, so you succeed. And then Oof. it then attempts to bite you. Which is a 26. It really likes but me. your AC is 27. So it fails. So your shield did protect you from two of them. So very nice. So there you go. So the one on the right with its two hands, takes a swing with its long swords, and then goes in for a bite, and just completely misses Ellie, who is kind of dancing around all of the attacks as she has her blade song on. Um, She's it bites its spider tongue. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess the... it's a drow tongue. I hope it bites its drow tongue. <laughs> the ones on the bottom uh, move up. And so this one is kind of moving up. And Reed, do you try to avoid it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I would. My gut feeling is as soon as I would have seen them, I would have tried to move to like there. Yeah. So at this point, away. with it kind of coming in, you can use your reaction to kind of acrobatics and move out of its way. Mm, I almost would have liked to use my acrobat my uh, reaction to hit one, but which you are able to. As part uh, of it, actually, no, moving. it never leaves your. It will never leave your um. Your range, so you wouldn't actually trigger an attack at any point. Okay, so yeah, I would do that. I would get out of its way as it starts moving up. Okay, so roll your acrobatic check. Twenty-seven. Okay. Yep. So you successfully kind of get in between the legs and go off to the side, and then it will proceed to then attack River with two attacks, or with its uh, two attacks and then a bite. So first attack. I'm well, sorry. What just happened? You're getting She's attacked on my by a shoulder. Drider. The drider's coming to hit you with. No, no she got you. off your shoulder when you were helping Balan. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't remember she's... getting off your shoulder at all. I'm pretty sure you did. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't, but okay. We'll go with that, I guess. Well, he's holding... He put Balan's, like, arm around his shoulder to help him up, so you wouldn't be able to stay there. He's got two shoulders. Have you Well, helped? I mean, it's I can just, easy. like... I can grab the back of Balan's armor and just lift him up. <laughs> or okay. hair. <laughs> okay, so I will ask Give him now. A when you pick him up, River. Okay, so is River staying? I will on grab drawing? him by his cheek and lift him up. 
Is is Rabbit River staying on Drom? Let shorts. me know. Which chief? River, River is staying on Drom. Yes. Okay. So then the attack goes on Hyluck instead, and we'll move River over here. So River's on like Drom's shoulder. So the attack is on Hyluck. So the attack on Hyluck is a twenty-nine to hit. Oh. Yeah. Um. Kind of glad I skipped that one. And I have the character sheet open, so I can help with removing hit points and stuff like that for him. Nah, you uh, can skip that part. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Skip, skip. skip that part. He's Let's already pretty it. low, so... I'm going to look over that. Okay, so Holy that Christ. is uh, 13 damage with the first attack. Guys, we got to get him a lined dice tower so that it's not so terrifying to listen to. <laughs> no, he wants that. It's called it's psychological warfare. Oh, no, I I'm just... aware. I just like imagining he's rolling a bunch of D ones. Uh, right. Second is a nineteen. To hit. Yeah, hit. Yeah. Okay. Anything they anything Hyla can do? I'm looking. I don't know if he's got like cutting words or something goofy like that, but I don't think so. Okay. The urge to yell down the hall, "Hey, bunny boy, come here!" <laughs> is so real. <laughs> All right. So then the next uh, attack deal. Uh, 12 damage. You gotta do the hit points because I can't Yep, them. I'm doing it. I, I'm subtracting them. So you should see it moving down. Um, and then it goes for a bite. Uh, so that's a total 20 to hit. And that will be... So that's going to be 17 poison damage with the bite. All right, so so Hylic's mad at this point. He's going to do <laughs> Hellish Rebuke. Okay. Is a reaction. Okay. Do that. I can't click the yeah. cast buttons, apparently. I just okay, so it. Hellish Rebuke. Uh, one second. Oh, there it goes. Nice. I, at third level? Okay. I don't remember clicking third, but we'll, I guess we'll just go. Which level do you want it at? I, I can mark it I, off. Yeah, I just clicked first is what I clicked, okay. honestly. Okay. So Maybe really if you had <laughs> clicked it too many times, it upped it to third level or something? I don't know. There we go. This should work. There we go. So, Hellish Rebuke. Um, so, it does. Let me double check what it does. So, reaction. Put your finger. DC 18 or take six fire damage and half. And you, if you save, you take half. Okay, so it still takes the damage, but now it also de he deals damage in return, basically. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. So let me mark the hit points off of High Luck first. So Stay I away from my ears. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> It's gonna be amusing. Uh, Drider is. Uh, three is 16. Nope. Does not make the save. So it takes six points of damage. Okay. Yep, wrong one. Okay. And then. The next one moves up and attacks the rabbit as well, because the rabbit is the closest. So same dealio. First attack. Uh, it's a 28 to hit. And that's going to be... Yeah, all you got to hit is a 17, so... Yeah. So that's going to be, uh, what was it? Uh, Hylic just closes her eyes and covers her ears. <laughs> so 14 points of damage on the first attack. Uh, next one. 
is actually a 17, or 16. So, misses. And then the next one is the bite. Oh, crappy rolls. Uh, 15 on the bite. So it hits with the first sword and then misses with the second long sword attack and the bite. <clears throat> then there is the one uh, in the back. So it looks around. Um, kind of skitters along the ceiling. To the point where it's kind of almost above you. Um, looks down at you, Havlin, and begins to cast. So anyone with Arcana can roll a um, Arcana check to see if they can see what he is casting. <coughs> Very nice, Go Ellie. Out. Nice. Dang. I yeah. adjusted Wait my to settings. See if mine comes through here. <laughs> <laughs> mine gonna roll? There you it have, is. You have made the changes from last session. Mm hmm. I forgot to turn the hack on. That yeah. That's better now. Okay. I need to learn that hack. <laughs> All right. So let me see what everyone knows. Ellie, of course, knows everything. You also get a free reroll with your natural 20. Oh, thank goodness, because I was out of those. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, so, Hadlin and River. You know that it is a enchantment spell that is being cast. Um... <laughs> Actually, you is both... It, is, it an AO, is it an AoE, or is it specifically targeting somebody? It's a specific... Well, you don't know that yet. Um, okay, okay. You also know... You both know that it is a... Oh, actually, you do. You know that it is a hold person spell that is being cast. On who? Um, you don't know at what level. And then... Ellie, you know everything. So it is a hold person at third mm -hmm. level being cast on Havlin. Can I communicate that information somehow? Mm -mm. You can only react. Actually, you used your reaction. I know. I used my you. reaction. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying, can I communicate? Mm -mm. You won't be able to communicate. But you know that it is being cast at Havlin. Hadlin, it is a single target spell of hold person coming your way. Um, while he's rolling that real quick, um, how do we use these stupid cards, Finn? Because when we did them before, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> so you should be able to click on it and use it, and then it should give me a notification that it is being used. I have to op I'll open it. Okay, I see, screen. I see. The one I was clicking on was not available to be played, so it was confusing me, but I clicked on another one, and I see what you're talking about. Okay. So. I got a bunch of cards, so... I do, too. I have an extra attack card that I... Yeah, I have a couple of them. <laughs> Alright. What kind of saving throw? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom saving throw. So I have advantage because of my shield. Okay. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. There you go. You made it with the second. Nice. So it tries to hold you in place, and you feel it. And at first, it I'll starts right to, but then you go into King Hadlin mode and just shrug it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> All right. Oh, so God, that's a terrifying mental image there. <sighs> oh, my God. Funny mental image. It goes from you Dwarven Soldier dancing. Boy to Taylor Swift. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's doing the shake it off dance now. Okay, let me get this. Let me make or sure. Or Andre three thousand shake it like a Polaroid picture. All right, so let's officially get everyone into turn order. So let's roll initiative. That surprise round is now over. I don't like surprise rounds. They can go away. <laughs> yeah. 
I think Oops, that might I'm be, that stupid. Might be the, that might be I, the highest initiative I've ever rolled. Yeah, it's up there. My, I didn't click my token, so I'm gonna roll it again. That's yeah, fine. same. That's fine. Do it again, and then but I'll you can, I'll adjust yeah, it. Yeah, do. Yeah. Yep. I gotta find my token first to click the bloody thing. It's near drawn. Wait, not, nothing's happening when I click it. Yeah, you have to redo your token and put it out there again. That's what I have to do every time I do this. Well, that's not right. Yeah, I know. Uh, Why is that okay. Uh, I have no idea. Hold on. Uh, did I move your correct one, River? Uh, no. I got my one. You used the other one. There we go. That's the one? The one I'm moving is yours? No, the one you're moving is yours. Okay, I'm deleting I'm moving it. Is mine. That's okay. fine. I just needed to there move it. Ellie, which you're is good. your correct one? The top or the bottom? The bottom one. Okay, let me delete the top. Move okay, I'm back. There we go. Okay. Please be better. Please be better. You're better by one. <laughs> All right, it's so better. Ellie's was yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, we're rolling initiative? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Okay. I had a 13. Whee! Sorry, I had to take a quick phone call. That's why I missed. No worries. What was going on here? Oh, the driders are killing answer. everyone, so yeah, it's fine. Nope, mm. that is not happening. No, they're just killing the rabbit. <laughs> All right. Uh, they are doing. That they are doing. Now roll balance, even though he's kind of Conscious. out of it. Yeah. Did somebody wake him up. Oh, yeah, I gave him good berries. Oh, my God. At the end of our last Jesus. Time. Okay, well, Balan is nice and unconscious with a natural 20. Okay. Jesus. So he can just drool at the start of the turn order? <laughs> Basically. Nah. No, he's like he's he's like my dog when she's dreaming about something. He's like shaking and fighting and, and like you know doing stuff in his dream. Aw, look at Balan, so sweet, fighting in his dream. I was kinda hoping that the double nat twenties there might be like when Uma Thurman took well, the uh Adrenaline to the heart, Pulp Fiction. Oh God! Well, yeah. keep in mind yes. the double. The double is not like me actually rolling it twice. It's yeah, because I have it open twice. One is, two, but still, what's yeah. the odds of that? I well, it's the exact same roll. It copies. Yeah, it just copies. Well, it's because it I have two roll twenties open. So when I click on D and D Beyond, it does the same roll, but send it to both roll twenties. So then it doubles everything. That's why the next two are both nineteens as well. It'll always double, just because I have mm. one on a player for the stream, and then I have the other one is my DM screen. So mm -hmm. way to over-explain my happy thought. I know, it's because it's it's not the first time I've rolled a tw oh, natural twenty on Balan and had this conversation. I did know. he just DM explain something to us? I did. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> not sure if I like that. Dim <laughs> explain. Uh, okay. <sighs> From the experience um, of it happening to me a lot, you learn to get used to it real quick. <laughs> All right. So uh, with that, Balan goes first. Um, the good berries up. help See. them. Hey, I gave him good berries. Good berries help with exhaustion. It's food. It's good. We, we still have PTSD from good berries. <laughs> It's not Rondo. My fault. It's I know I should like shake, and every time I hear she says that, I'm like, ah, like, no, not good berries, no. I, it's not my fault. Somebody didn't know how to use good berries properly, so. Uh, no. Okay, so Balan <laughs> actually, um, his we eyes are berry. still closed, <laughs> um, but you see that form of light take over him once again. Cool. We're getting he... celestial. What's his face back? <laughs> Balin. <laughs> My brain flatlined. Sorry. <laughs> Glow harder. Dry, driders hate light. <laughs> A little brighter there. Let's, let's feed you some more fuel. Who's got the fuel? And he then proceeds to fly straight up at the one here. I think I have the movement. Uh, no does not so he double moves and makes his way to the drider and that'll be <laughs> it for balance turn hello there so he wakes up or no. he just floats no he actually he's... looks like he's moving but his eyes are still closed all right cool he knows what he's doing 
So magic blowing. <laughs> Wait, so this is the Balin that actually knows what he's doing. <laughs> All right. Magic glowing weekend at Bernie's Balin. <sighs> we reply it up your Balin with Folgers crystals. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if the driders notice. All right. Next up is Reed. That's amazing. All right. Um. I just saw the rabbit take a beat and a half. For all intents and purposes, you have advantage on multiple different ways on all the driders. So. Yeah. <sighs> all right. I am drawing my short sword, and I will attack this one. Oh, you need one. to roll for high look, or I I can't because I can't roll oh. initiative. Thank you. Give me one second. Let me do that. Let oh, yeah, just in case Hylak rolls uh, 28. Yeah, because Hylak's got plus 13. Yes. Sorry about that. Give me one second. Ha! Okay. Ha! What the shit? What the I shit? I guess I accidentally turned on the mod oh, for Finn, too. I'm glad I'm... I called it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Damn! So, Hylak can go ahead and go right now. Balan's going to do the same thing, but High Luck will go technically first. All right, so let's do <laughs> like a. <laughs> so let's do like a. Okay, I gotta go show him this real quick. I'll be right back. Let's do a fourth level mass healing order. Okay. Ooh. I think I can do that. Fourth level. Yeah, you should be able to trigger it, and then I'll just mark it off. All right, so how do I pick with... I gotta pick how many people? Uh, Mass healing word is uh, up to six. Up to six. All right, so Hylek, Hadlin, and four other people who look injured. I don't know who... Can we give him our colors? Yep, give your yeah. colors. Okay, I'm green. Okay. Balan is yellow. Okay, so Balan's one of them. So we got three. I'd say I'm orange. Okay. I'm like, not, there's no orange. It's I'm, red, I'm, yellow, and green. There is orange. <laughs> okay, then Drom's getting one. I'm, Drom's Drom's getting getting one. Yeah, I'm down some. You yeah. wouldn't be able to see me anyway, so... Yeah. Actually, that's true. Reed is not visible. You have Reed, to I this? heal you. Wait, where'd you go? <laughs> just, yeah, just all the six. <laughs> yeah, well, then I'll just do all the six. There you go. Yeah, there you go. thirteen. Yeah, so everyone Easy besides day. Ellie and Reed, right? So High Luck, yeah. Leo, Drom, River, Balin, and Hadlin. There you go. So those ones gain thirteen hit points. I'll add the thirteen hit points onto the character sheet. Give me one second. Thank you. Okay, very nice. And I think he can do a bonus action thing, too, uh, right? Yeah. Bunny hop, I think. Yeah, he's, he's bunny hopping the F out of there is what he's doing. <laughs> 25 feet without provoking attacks of opportunity. So, I don't think he can jump over him, can he? Or her? You mean, like, jump yeah. over down the stairs? Yeah. Um, what exactly? And leave her too isolated. Uh, see yeah. if you can go to there. Oh, yeah, wherever he just pinged, that's where I'll go then. Where'd you ping? Yeah. Oh, over there? Okay. Yeah, because that at least makes it so anybody that has to try and run at her has to, to disengage, leave somebody's yeah. disengaged, so. Yeah. So, yeah, he just jumps 25 feet over there. Okay. Uh, do you have control of the token? If not, give me a second. No, can... no, senor. Okay. I got it. Let's see. And then there's High Luck. Huh, weird. Should give you, but okay. Alright, anything else? Yeah, that's it. Action and bonus action. I don't, I don't think she needs to move or Unless anything. you want to move or something. Yeah, you know. Okay. And then we did balance, and now we're on read. 
All right, so uh, bunny ran away. I still have sneak attack. Um, the drider that's right next to me is it looking at me? Uh, it was looking at the bunny. Now the bunny just moved away, so it hasn't really got a chance to readjust. But it didn't seem to spot you when it moved towards said bunny. I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. Has it turned into a new day yet? No. 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 Okay, so it's still the same day. We just haven't passed midnight or anything yet? Same day. It's been like two hours. Oh, right, right. God. Yeah, it's kind of the same exact. Mm -hmm. See, this is uh... why I asked. My brain is like, it's got to be a new day. No, mm -mm. it's not. Nope. <laughs> Just, even, just, even though several cave. months have passed in the real world. <laughs> yeah, we're just in a stupid cave. Only two hours passed in game. Spider people. <laughs> Sick and tired of these motherfucking spiders. Vecna <laughs> temple? I mean, it could be worse. It could be snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? I, I like snakes. I'm not a fan of spiders. So I, yeah. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> my my daughter just also wanted to inform you that my Chinese zodiac is a snake. So I don't know why she wants to tell you that. But she <laughs> well, mine's a spider. I think it's well, better. Here. Mine's snake as well. Good night, child. <laughs> night, I think mine was a rat. Snake child. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. She's a dragon. So this is uh, her definitely. year. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, uh, I like that in the background. It's like she's a dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the one next Good to night. Ellie has he been hit yet? The one next to Ellie. No, there's only one that's been hit, and that's the one closest to you. Okay. Uh... Yeah, this one right next to me. Uh, I'm going to sneak attack, hit it with... Uh, mm. I'd have to use a bonus action. Yeah, I'm just drawing a sword. Um... So this should be with advantage and everything. Nat 20. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hello. Ooh. Owie. That is a Ooh. lot of damage. Okay. So that is that 14. going to go see his mama soon. So 14 plus 56, so 70 damage. How's it looking? Uh, yellow. Bonus action stealth. Okay. It was all yellow. 26 stealth. Okay. Nice shot, Reed. Thank you. And nice are you shot, staying there Jensen. or are you moving away? Just... Uh, if I move, I'd have to disengage is the thing. And I can do that as a bonus action instead of an action. But mm. You bonus action stealth. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you can move away because it doesn't know where you are to do an attack of opportunity. No, oh, alright. Let's uh go to right to there. Okay. Yeah, as long as it doesn't I mean the risk is that it sees you through the stealth, right? But if it doesn't yeah. see you through the stealth, then it has nothing to attack. So you should awesome. be good. Okay. Alright. Then next up is Havlin. Be right back. <laughs> right, so is there any particular place that I can move where I can get like flanking advantage with Ellie or I'd have to go like over on the other side of it, huh? Mm, 5E okay. rules make it so that as long as you're on the same target, then you're good. So you could actually just oh. move next to Ellie. Oh, very cool. That's what I'd be doing. Really? Weird. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, there's different rules where you can't be engaged with like multiple 
things, but if it's just like this scenario, you guys have advantage because you're both kind of attacking the same target and distracting them. So. All right. So I am going to let's just do my four attacks. Okay. Yeah. Like I, I think I'm as far as Hadlin knows. I'm the only one right now that has a counter spell left. So I'm hesitant to burn my last third level spell. So I'm not. That's why I'm not doing my normal usual Hold. thing. Hold. Hold. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first attack. That's, and that's advantage, right? Uh, it just, like, posted all the text. Why is it doing that? I, I did not click on the weapon. I clicked on... I know. The, this was what happened in a ranger it. last time? Yeah, I was yeah, going to say it happened last before. time. Right, well, I will. He's confused. Okay, now I'm curious. Hold on. I wonder if it's doing it with all of us, or if it's just... No, because Johnny attacked okay. Yeah. I'll refresh real quick. Uh, my dog just got scared by the fan. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's he didn't know it was on rotation, so it rotated toward his face, and he's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. So it's doing the same Hold thing on a second. Me. Let's see here. Did you refresh both yeah. Roll20 and the other? Yeah, no, I completely closed them. Oh, huh, that's weird. I closed this time, though. That? See, that works for me. That's weird. Just ignore that. Oh, there's an update to Beyond 20, that's why. Oh, yeah. Probably to fix that. <laughs> Mine did that a couple days ago. I had to restart my whole browser. That's strange. Like, why didn't it do it with initiative? Initiative worked just fine. Maybe it has something to do with, like, the items. Yeah. Or does the weapon itself use multiple different type of dice for the attack? Mm. Attacks are I always, rolled, I think, like D20. Well, when I just rolled my Thorn Whip, it rolled the D20 there we go. plus the damage die all at once. Oh, so that's that, yeah. That's why it wasn't doing it for him if it wasn't seeking up because it had multiple dice to roll. Or No, because I think your, Thorn Whip is a spell. So with spells, it always is both. With, like, uh, weapons, it'll do it with just the Oh, attack. yeah, it is a cantrip, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. so there's one hit with Slashing and Booming Blade. So 30, yeah, 30 does hit. Yeah. Uh, so that's... Yeah, if 30 doesn't hit, then I'm going home. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so it's 13 damage and then 5. Okay, and then 7 if it moves. Okay, so it's taken yep. 18 damage. All right, Put this 7 over here. Okay. 23 hit? Does hit. All right, cool. All right, just hit flashing. Alright, uh, third attack. Yeah, but I'll do it again just in case I get the next 20. Little slashing. Okay. Alright, and my last one. 23. Yep, yeah, that hits. There you go. Very nice. 49 points of damage this round. Yeah, it rolled pretty high on the like the actual damage itself on each mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah. Alright. Anything else uh, from the king? No, because that was my action and my bonus action for, for Boom and Blade. Okay. So then next up is Drom. Actually, no, uh Leo I think has a higher dex. Yeah. Drum. Leo goes before yeah, before so Drom. Do this. There we go. Okay. So Leo. Hi. Your turn. Out. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to attack the same one that Ray did. 
Okay. I am going to drop five to gain ten, but I'm only dropping three because I get a plus two since I'm attacking the same target he hit. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, minus please. three to your attack roll, but plus ten to your damage, right? Yes. Okay. Actually, let's see. My total would be... Let's see. Hold on. 14. Minus 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. So, yeah just minus 3. Well, no, because I get it plus 2. Yeah, yeah, so it's just minus 3. Okay. <laughs> Math. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Nobody likes math. 21 to hit. I need to know if that hits or not so I can reroll. But it's a minus 3, right? So then it becomes 18. So Eight, no. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm rerolling. Correct. That. It is not. Nineteen does not. You might want to hide all your dice from. What do you have? Uh, a minus there? three. Uh, he sacrificed uh, attack roll bonus for a damage. Sharpshooter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. I still got two more attacks. That hits. Yeah. Uh, I am hunter marking this one. Okay. All right. So... 23 damage. Yes, plus Hunter's Mark. Plus five, okay. Alright, we'll do one more. Nice. Yep. I'm re-rolling that damage. A one? Fuck you. Mm. Okay, okay, game. All right. <laughs> All right, so eight, so 18 damage, right? 18 right now. I have to do it with my Hunter's Mark, yeah. and then I'll add a D8 for my final damage here. Okay. That is enough as you pierce it through its skull, and this one uh, dies. Nice. Who would have thought that if an assassin and a gloomstalker ranger focused on the same target it would we've been doing it a lot lately I know. i'm joking yeah. i'm joking <laughs> uh i take uh I, for my bonus action i take the god arrow and shoot it in finn's a-hole <laughs> all right anything <laughs> else leo yeah, thousand years of pain okay <laughs> <laughs> all right so... Oh, I did do that too last round. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I did do the thousand years of pain. Mm -hmm. That's right. Next up is Drum. Okay. Well, we'll start off. The sand. The, the Raven Queen. The Raven Queen gods us. Let's see how you like her touch cast. A fifth level spirit guardians. Okay. This will hit. Let's see here. 15. So right now you're out of range of everyone. Well, except, well, oh, yeah, this guy's above us, huh? Correct. He's so. 60 feet up. Oh, that he's guy up? just is gone. Correct. Uh? <laughs> well, you guys are over there, so, and this one, and this one are on the ground, right? All three, except for that one near Balin, are all on okay. the ground. If you move to, like, there, you'll hit, like, two of them. You can move into, like, any and kind of, like, the little yeah. in between so of those two. pink dot means it's in the air? Correct. Sweet. So... I put a pink dot on Balin, too. Oh, come on. No, I don't want to select everybody. Give me the damn ruler. Thank you. So we will go ahead and come on, River. Let's go get him. We'll move. Hi -ho! Let's <laughs> fire at will. <laughs> we'll move right here yeah. for now. Okay. And so they and... both, I think, automatically take damage, right? Because they got into well at the start range. of their turn. That's I thought how it's when they first works. I thought it's, it's also first. when they first entered. 
Yeah, it is. Let me double check it. And then yeah, each time they start their turn. Yeah. It's when, uh, yeah, spirit guardian, because my spirit does the same thing when it first enters. It creates damage to uh, whoever's near it that's when I summon it. And then every time it teleports, it damages whatever's near it. The effect creature's speed is halved in the area. Oh, yeah, okay. When the creature enters the area the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it, it must mm -hmm. make the wisdom saving throw or take yeah. the damage. So it takes damage on the initial cast, and it's half mm -hmm. damage if it succeeds? Uh, yeah, half okay. on a success. Okay, so the one near Ellie is failing, so it takes 22. How much movement do you have? And the one a lot. Bottom. Maybe you make a meandering walk around the room and hit that's, all That's what I'm thinking about doing. <laughs> and the one on the bottom does succeed, so it takes half. Okay. okay. Well, where he and goes, then we'll, I go. we'll be like all do 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 and walk over here. Okay, so then the other one has to now. <laughs> so that's. And it fails. So Sorry. It also it takes. 15, 15, 20, that's 25. Okay. And then we'll move five more right there. That's okay. the end of the movement. Mm -hmm. And then, and then. Um. Has any of them died yet? Yeah, one is dead so far. Cool. Where's my what? Leo and Reed what? basically he just it killed it. Child, I will use <laughs> my bonus action to spread the shadows out <laughs> underneath everybody. Dead. Okay. Is it too late to use my reaction for the using the umbral manipulation? Uh, it is right now. Yeah. Okay. So I just got reminded of something, and I'm like, oh, I gotta do that, because it's a reaction, so I'm like... Mm -hmm. Um... Just double-checking real quick. Yep. Um... Next up is Ellie, as soon as... Drop yeah, that's team. all I can do. Okay. So then, Ellie, it's your turn. And River, you're on deck after Ellie. Hey, Finn? Yeah. Um, do you remember that Song of Victory thing? Song of Victory thing. Mm -hmm. It's not on my sheet, and I was looking back in my notes. It's something about adding intelligence modifier to melee damage. It's not on your weapon? Mm-mm. -mm. I see Rune of Power, I see Dance of Arcane Fury, I see the Strikers Dance. Might Adam be automatic. Wins. No, this is something that Finn came up with. No, no, no it's a separate thing. Yeah. I know what she's talking oh. about. I thought it was on there. And I even look back in our chat. I didn't see it in our chat. And I don't have, like, a full description. I just have Song of Victories. Don't, don't forget Song of Victory adding Intelligence modifier to melee damage. But then I don't have a... A thing about it. Yeah, give me one second. I, I just saw it, so that's not my apologies for bringing it up right now. No, no, no. Yeah, that's good. why I was asking about the reaction thing, because I just saw my reaction and got reminded of it, and I'm like, Ooh. So, Song of Victory is a Blade Singer thing at 14, so it should be under your oh. your oh. ability, or in your class features. Yeah, I see it. It's there. Child, mm -hmm. come here. I just... Hey, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just actually have to hit with damage for it to do it. Okay. Well, that one just says add five to the damage of your melee weapon when your blade song is active. Well, I guess five is the intelligence modifier. Yeah, it's your intelligence so. modifier. Correct. That should modify, Got you it. know, as your and changes. Yep. All right. Okay. Well, that's why I have a note to myself. Who knows when I typed that to not forget it as I proceeded to forget it for the last <laughs> several sessions. Same, okay. Ellie. Same. Okay. I have a lot of toys. And mm -hmm. yeah, I forget. You all have a lot of toys now. That's what happens at high levels. <laughs> there are okay. too many toys at your disposal. The Don't one that's, father. that's next to me and Hadelin, is it green or yellow <laughs> or red? It is yellow. Like Coldplay. <laughs> um, Sorry, I got the right. reference. All right, all right, we all right. did. 
All right, and then this other here. Um, the Dance of Arcane Fury, I can do. Sacrifice a spell slot. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm on Jeopardy, Grim. <laughs> okay. Um. Here, okay. here you go. Some theme music. The Dance of Arcane Fury. Uh, I want to do that. Okay. And I want to just sacrifice a first level spell. So that okay. means I can use my bonus action to cast a cantrip. Yes. So I just roll to hit with my sword, right? Mm hmm To start with? Correct. Okay. Doing that. That's terrible. You have um, advantage because you are with Hadlin, so you can roll again. Okay. Wow, that's lovely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Turn on the cheat. Much nice. better. Cheats enabled. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'll do that, and then I roll the damage, yes? Mm hmm Or... And then I've got to mark off. Uh, I roll the damage first. Then I have to mark off a first level spell because I'm using sacrificing a first level spell, right? Yes. Okay, marking that off. It is funny how that... you guys tend to always roll more damage with one-handed damage than two-handed damage. Like almost every time I mean... that comes up. You always That's interesting, sure. You're trying to say that the entire party all has one stronger arm than the other. <laughs> uh, okay, full so circle now back to the start the starting discussion. Alright. <laughs> Whole party, one arm is just jacked, the other one's like a wimp piece of spaghetti. We uh. just use the offhand to hold our sandwiches, okay? Yes. And yeah. He needs one beefy arm. <laughs> so well, this says burninating the okay sorry I can cast a cantrip and if the cantrip deals damage I can add my intelligence modifier to the damage dealt mm -hmm. of that cantrip I guess so yeah. if I did like um let's say firebolt it adds five damage yep okay so should I cast the firebolt yeah because it has it its own first? damage as well yep right so just cast it as if you were casting it and 26 hits. And then I roll the damage nice. for Firebolt. Mm -hmm. Yep. Firebolt! I don't like that, but whatever. Oh my. It's still hit. A two, a but, one, and a one? Yeah, yeah but I can on, add five three to that, D10s. though, right? Yeah. It is so it's not still nine? Rolls. Yeah, it's nine damage. Yep. Okay. Alright. Do I have something to help that? <laughs> No. I probably have a card that can do something. Yeah, no, I'm I don't, sitting here looking I don't want to do them right, right now, now because maybe. yeah, I don't know. It's, we're, we might not need them across. Don't jinx ourselves. Mm. Um, and then that's it for me, <laughs> except that now I guess um, when it's Hadalyn's turn again, he has a plus two to hit against that Drider. Correct, because of your rune power mm -hmm. thing. Yep. Okay. That's See, what cool. happened is it burnt so bright and it looked so cool that it used up all its fuel by the time it got there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Yep. Uh, next up then is River. Which one is dead? Uh, the it's one not on the map. That's, it's it, not on the map, but it was right here. Yeah. Okay. I need to put a little flame right there where it was. Okay. Uh, I have... What the hell? Where's your fire pet? Sorry. Uh, I'm going to summon the fire pet, but cauterizing flames takes first. Um, that happens whenever a... Let's see. When a small or larger creature dies within 30 feet of you or your wildfire spirit, and it was within 30 feet of me, a harmless spectral flame springs forth in the dead creature's space and flickers there for one minute. When a creature you can see enters that space, you can use your reaction to extinguish a spectral flame there or, or excuse me, and either heal the creature or deal fire damage to it. So flame. <laughs> we have healing so it's flame like a, now, guys. <laughs> it's, it, it's a power up. 
So if somebody walks over and touches it, they get healed. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Which yeah. is making All this sudden, more like Mario Kart with yeah, drum or, spinning Koopa shells. <laughs> or I, I was thinking more like we're we're all of a sudden we're playing like Unreal Tournament or something mm. with the pickups. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Mario Kart's yeah. probably more our. Uh, so I will do the Superman through the air while <laughs> throwing the lightning bolt at somebody and pick up the the you know a, a 360 no scope axe throw. <laughs> I love it. Mm. All right. Can we get an anim animatic made of this episode? <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so let me mark that. I've used it once. I have uh, four more charges that I can use this for, guys, by the way. Nice. Four more. Um, I am summoning my little wildfire spirit. Okay. Uh... What token do I use for this, by the way? We just used a random one of the. Oh, we were. We used one of the pirates. You. Yeah, we used yeah. one of the pirate ones. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, Lazy Eye Louie. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna put Lazy Eye Louie there. There we go. Um. Now, through the. Spirit, I'm going to do the. I'm going to try the flame seed and see what happens. Ooh, what's this button do? Huh? Pretty much. Like, I don't think I've ever actually <laughs> used flame seed. So it's a ranged weapon attack, uh, 60 feet, and I hit one target I see for a d6 plus 5 fire damage. Hmm. Yeah. So here's the attack. <laughs> Fail. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not gonna, not gonna, yeah. All right, next up. Okay. So then it is their turn, and then next up will and be. I'll be right back. Arlock, uh, mm. And I got all that spirit garden damage. Yeah. So the two are taking the spirit. So I think you have to re-roll spirit guardian damage. Yeah, I can uh, do it draw. again. Yeah. Um, let me find it here. I did yeah, it at just, fifth level, I think it was, right? Yeah, yes. just scroll up like half a mile and... <laughs> doesn't eat up a spell slot when you use it. Four hours later. Um, it's not too far up, actually. It's just before Ellie's. Um, oh, yeah, I can see it. There's nothing to click actually, there, it's just. Though. It's just easier to do it this way. It's 5d8. You yeah. go. Okay. Just make sure I didn't use up a spell slot for you. It didn't. You okay. What I did was I clicked the damage. The damage one okay. section in 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 uh, D and okay. D Beyond. Okay. So it still makes a wisdom saving throw, right? I think against mm -hmm. each time. So. Um, yeah. The one on the left uh, succeeds, so it takes half. Oh, you succeeded both of them, huh? Mm-hmm. That's the smart one. And then the bottom <laughs> one succeeds as well, so it takes half. Punk. Okay, so then um, the one on the bottom moves up, then proceeds to attack uh, Drum. Mm-hmm. Uh, but before... It does it. The one on the left begins casting. Ooh. So anyone with arcane or arcana proficiency can go ahead and roll. Um, so... Hadlin and Ellie, you're not sure. Actually, can't Hyluck do that too? Mm -mm. Well, no. I don't know if Hyluck. Yeah, Hyluck does not have Arcana, no. nor no. Counterspell. Yeah. Yep. And I think River's a okay. Yeah, but River also doesn't. River might know, but she won't have um, Counterspell. Mm -hmm. So. Will an Inspiration help bump that up? Uh. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, can I do an inspiration card? Not for me though, because I can't counter anything anyway. 
can well, I give it to Havlin? if Hadlin? you don't know, then... Oh, yeah. You can give Havlin the bonus if you want. Okay. Let me see. Oh, oh I've lost the window. Come on. All right. Uh, inspiration. Inspiration. Not the DC-20 ones, because those are a scam. <laughs> yeah, were they ever getting adjusted? They're 19. Everything is down one. I just haven't updated the graphic yet. But we moved everything down one. Oh, uh, crap. Crap, crap. 20, 20, 20. The D6 is 18. D8, 18. So the 18s oh, are 17. Yeah. Just subtract one from the DCs. So I just I should just roll a roll 20 real quick. Just a D20 just to see if it's even worth it, right? Well, she has to decide which one she wants there, to play I first. I clicked it. Yeah. Uh, let's see if it shows up as played. A second here. Want to click the button? It's my turn to click the <laughs> yeah. button. Uh, yeah. So it said that it did. So go ahead and roll your D twenty, and it's a DC of seventeen. Ah, oh my nice. god! Woo. What could it be? The DC twenty one. Damn. That is impressive. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can roll your your inspiration. Which one is it? D D12. What was it? D12. Oh my god. Luckily, that's enough. Uh, it is, once again, <laughs> casting... Yeah, I get, I, come on, I get advantage for natural 20 Fine. on my... There. Fine. Yeah. You can get advantage. <laughs> oh, not much better, but still. It was double. <laughs> it was double, yeah. It was really worth it. <laughs> it is casting hold person on Drom at third level. Oh, F that. I'm countering that. Yeah. Uh... I mean, it, w w wisdom Does is. Does that really like... hurt, Drum? No, it won't. Because the spirit guardians are still rolling around. He can still use his action. He's got one in his grill. Can't use his action. No, he won't be able to concentrate on his spell because he's held. Hmm. Oh. So I'm countering. Yeah, yeah he becomes paralyzed. Yeah, that sounds good. So they're just gonna like tee card, off on him, basically. Give you another card. No, no, no. He got it. So yep, yeah. you're countering at the same level. So it goes away. Poof. And then the one on the bottom is going to proceed to attack. So. I won't kiss my bicep for you, Drum. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you should have uh, changed into Dromlin, though. Then you could have done synchronized bicep kisses. Okay. Um, first one no, is a natural 20 left. on the attack on Drum. Um, no, there's nothing I can do about that. that. 20, right? Huh? None what of us that? can squash that 20. Hmm. I don't know if anyone... I don't think anyone has anything in this party to change that, right? Mm -hmm. I think Reed can do the opposite if it's like a one, yeah. but nothing opposite. Okay. So then... Uh, damage with the first long or uh, long sword attack is... Uh, 20 damage with the first hit. Second attack is a 23 to hit uh that will hit okay i have a 21 ac okay this one is 13 damage and then it's gonna try to bite the thing on your shoulder the thing you mean river <laughs> river <laughs> uh, my goodness I'm doing it from the perspective of the drider. It's just like it's going to bite the thing, the little thing on the shoulder. Um, okay, so it is a 24 for the bite against River. Um, is Lady Plague I don't back? know. I don't think so. But it sounds like way. she had kid aggro. That hits her either way. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it hits her. So, um, it will be... She's got Actually, I'll use my final reaction. Oh, no, this is the same turn, isn't it, or is it a new one? You use your reaction on the attack against Ellie in the surprise round. So this is a new round. Yeah, I'll, I'll use my last reaction and reduce that by five. So that Wait, you said it was a 24? That would drop it to a 19? That probably still hits her, huh? No, no she's got a 23. So. She's got a 23 armor. Oh, she's got a 23? 
Yeah, she's legitimately like the second most she, jacked. She, okay, then I'll try. Just I'll, as armored as you on your shoulder somehow. It's very then, strange. Then, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, she has higher armor than Drom. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and burn my last reaction. Okay. So she's a, she's a to reduce it by turret. five. She's, she's a, shoulder a fortified pad. turret on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. She's a shoulder pad turret. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it attempts to bite and then misses. Um, the one on the right is. Let's see. So I can't use that anymore. So until I rest again, just okay. so everybody knows. Um. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it's just gonna try and attack uh, Ellie. Why? You look so less armor clad than the dwarf right now. And what's funny is we're the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first one is at 21 to hit. Mine's 22. So okay, no. so it misses. Uh, second attack. Is a natural twenty. Uh, okay, so that's gonna be. Uh, this is a new round, right? I haven't done a reaction yet, right? Uh. Correct. I don't think you've used your. My reaction. last one, my last one was the react the other shield, so I might have to do that again. It's not gonna work against a natural twenty, though. Okay, then never mind. Yeah, you can hold. It's gonna bite. It's gonna do a bite after this, so you may use it for that. But yeah, it gets a natural twenty. It will hit through it. Um, so 12, 15, 30 damage with the longsword. Oh God. And then it's bite. See, there you go. Natural one on the bite. Roll a d4. Can it hurt for me? Can it hurt itself in its own confusion? Roll a d4. The d4. It does. It actually, like, <laughs> tries to bite you and manages to bite one of its legs. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, what did I miss? Drom saved you from damage. Yay! <laughs> what, what was that damage? You said 30? Correct. Okay, I'm putting it on my cheek. <clears throat> Alright. So it did damage to itself, and that is it. <clears throat> Uh, oh, for It'd be those, so funny if it killed then... itself that way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> um, the one up top is going to... Let's see. Ooh, my brain feels better now. Yeah, it's going to attempt to start attacking Balon. So, first attack. You leave him alone! Uh, hits. Okay. Next attack. Misses. And then it attempts to fight. And the bite does succeed. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I think, yeah. Okay, no stabby stab. Yep. 
So it finished attacking Balin. And now it is back up to the top with Hyluk. I'm so... Oh, so this was the spider's turn the whole time? Correct. Yeah. Oh. I wasn't out there as long as I thought I was. Dang. Okay. <clears throat> First is a bonus action, maybe. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, let's rabbit hop like back towards the corner more. Okay. Uh, see if you can pick up that uh that flame that River produced. <clears throat> I don't know if Hylark knows what that is. Mm -mm. That's this is the first time like any of you all are seeing it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, mm, somebody yeah. should ask River. <laughs> hey, what in the hell does that do? <laughs> yeah, so just maybe jump him kind of next to Reed, even though I don't know Reed's there, obviously. Yeah. You're just kind of I jumping can't... into the corner, so that's easy enough. You're targeting. Yeah, I, yeah I, can't, I can't move. Run to... away! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Catches that's Reed two. off guard and punts him go. across the room. <laughs> and then the... <laughs> The drider that Hadalyn and Ellie are fighting, I will do vicious mockery. Okay. I feel like I should have <laughs> pooed everybody that thing that, the, hey, the fire heals. Yeah, none of us know that, although I forgot about that part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wisdom 18. It fails spectacularly and takes double damage. Nice! Nice! Very yeah, nice. Get in that one. Yep. You nice. teased it to death. That one is in the jail. Okay. You call those eight legs? <laughs> <laughs> those are eight strings. Uh, <laughs> anything uh. else for Hyla? Yeah, I think that's it for Hyla. Alright. Uh, so next up is Balan. After Balan Reed, you're on deck. Um, so... <laughs> My dad was not a daddy long legs, damn it. <laughs> Alright, uh, so Balin is going to take a swing with his weapon at the creature. Let me uh, turn on the cheat first. Now you can roll. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure he doesn't have anything else that he wants to do first. Um, actually, he is going to do something. I have not done this in quite a while, actually. Uh-oh. Um, sphere. From you know, the... if you weren't on our side for this, I'd be worried. <laughs> I think the group may, well, some of the group may remember what I'm about to do, but give me one second. Because it has been quite a while. I don't even know where the, where the images are for it. The Hellhound? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Can uh, he fly? So, from the ceiling. Oh, the dog, yeah. <gasps> I remember that one. Ooh, let the dogs out. Huh. Bailing. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't fight with the fire cat. Is there a fire cat? Yeah, my it's... little spirit. <laughs> don't have the dog and the cat fight. 
though it might be most <laughs> most interesting to watch. Uh, oh, it could no. distract the driders and I was the gonna say the watch that we would escape. <laughs> yeah. My yeah, we're kitty. killing these things. Johnny's bloodthirsty. Damn right. How do you freaking save these images? It doesn't fly, unfortunately, but it's going to try to do something. It appears in the air and immediately drops like a rock. <laughs> it's actually going to appear next to uh, the uh, drider near Drom. Oh, on the one that's currently on... Then it gets whacked with spirit guardian. Oh wait, no, it's Balin thing, so it's mm -hmm. fine. It looks like a platypus. I know. I'm... <laughs> it's like a actual like top down view, unlike most of the other tokens. I think it's so much cooler if you actually now have a devil platypus. <laughs> devil platypus? It's canon now. The males are venomous. Actually. Uh -huh. It's gonna actually keep mm -hmm. over here. It'll actually go to the one that's withdrawn. <laughs> No, it's a pouncing platypus. Yeah, it's a pouncing platypus. <laughs> Rar. <laughs> Watch out for the barb. All right, so it's going to try and attack the one that's uh, with Drom. Probably not going to do well, but uh, it has... oh, it'll have advantage. Yeah, because the spirit's on the other side. Oh, mm. well, it has advantage on its own. Ah with its thing. Get him, Fido! Uh, yeah, it hits. Nice! Uh, I'm gonna roll the other one, just in case I get a 20. No, no 20. So then, it does damage. So, 9 damage. On that one. As it bites and deals damage um and now it must make a saving throw uh is the modifier Wait, no um this one is knock prone really as the dog just bites it in one of the leg and kind of gets it to topple No Little what spider is. legs in the air. Mm hmm. So it takes the damage, which was nine. So. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, that wolf was weirdly effective. Okay. Um, now, Balan's gonna attack the one up top. <laughs> good boy! Good boy! Yeah, good boy! <laughs> Someone's getting a biscuit when we're done with this combat. <laughs> Get a whole freaking bone! A T-bone right. steak! So let's see how Balan does as he attacks. Okay, this trend is continuing. Um, Ooh, go Balan! So it deals... Go these rolls! Oh, there's the chip. Our side. It, it finally kicks nice. I know. It's useful when it's on your side. Um, <laughs> okay. I About think. damn time. Right? <laughs> uh, okay. Johnny okay. Happy Balin stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> okay. So it is... Okay. Where is that modifier? Okay. So it deals its damage. Ah, crappy Ooh, rolls, gosh. but that's okay. Uh, so that's going to be, uh, nine damage. On the 
this one. And then it's gonna balance gonna attack again. Which hits. And then damage again. Better. Twelve damage. Okay, and I think that is it. Uh, yep. So now it is uh, Reed, your turn. And then next up is Hablin. All right. Uh, what kind of shape is this one in? That one is uh, red. That one? Green. Uh, balance, dance, and partner. Uh, yellow. Sorry, the one on the left is also yellow. Sorry. All, All right, of them so are yellow have... except the one on the right that's red. Uh, all right, would I have a clean shot from where I am at uh, that one? Uh, yeah, you can you can make your way through. Which one are you shooting at? The far one. The one to the left, the far side of the room, maybe. Okay. Uh, just because I'm thinking Hadlin's up next, he'll probably take out the red one. Drom's about to bisect the one on his knees. Uh, what I'm going to do is I will move to here, passing through the fire thing. <laughs> hoping my sister won't hurt me with it to see what it does. <laughs> Do you wish to heal or damage? Heal. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I want to heal myself. <laughs> I, it tastes I don't like know burning. <laughs> I don't yeah, think you pick. I, I pick think River if picks. It heals. Yeah, River right, picks let's... if it heals or damages. Let's see what this does. <laughs> It's going to heal you. <laughs> All right, for how much? Oh, she's she's not going to be the, 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 the <laughs> sassy evil sister and be like all the birds a little bit. I mean, I could, but no. Change is in. It stinks. Uh, healing or damage equals 2d10 plus your wisdom mod. Damn. So 2d10 wisdom mod is plus 10, so... Or wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. There, yeah, plus four. There we go. Do so you want me to roll, roll it? it or me? Uh, you roll it, River. Okay. Because for damage, we you would roll it too. So we'll have you roll for yep. whatever you heal. There we go. For. There you go. There you go. Nice. Wow. Wow, I'm almost at full now. Hmm. Uh, all right, I will uh, fire on that drider. Okay. With uh, the bow with the runes attached, just in case. Okay. So it's a 32 to hit. That hits. Dang. For 27 42. and 52. Yep. The answer to everything. <laughs> uh, I got my towel. <laughs> uh, a poo. Uh, the little fire thing that just puffed out one of them makes you feel better. Uh... <laughs> Watch Leo go over there like, Oh, a I have capital. Let me do this go over here. Burn. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm going to go back to him. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you that. It heals. Just be careful there, Disco Inferno. That's all. <laughs> uh, Leo, attack the one uh, far side of the room from you uh, with the with the uh, the rune. I will roll for stealth. 
33 stealth. And that's my turn. Okay. 33 stealth. Right. Alright, so next up is Hadlin, and then on deck is Leo. Brynock wants some more. <laughs> 26 hits. Alright, booming blade. As the thunder goes through this thing, it kind of explodes into a million pieces as it goes boom <laughs> with your boom I wasn't done yet <laughs> that too, hey who told you to die <laughs> that too will turn into a cauterizing a, a flame by okay. the way uh it's funny. yeah it's, it's within round. 30 feet of me no 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 but I want to make sure it's a new round because you're using a reaction uh, yeah Flaming spider. <laughs> then I will. So this guy's still flying. The Balin's attacking. Correct. It's not flying, by the way. It's actually attached to the ceiling. Just FYI. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. So Balin is flying, but the spider is attached to the ceiling. I only use one of my attacks, and I'm hasted. I don't know how that works. Like, I don't think I can move. I'll just stay with Ellie and I'll throw right axe at this goofy guy over here. Okay. Ooh, that's a range attack. That would be a disadvantage, wouldn't it? Well, it'll be even because he's surrounded by, well, a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, well, I which mean, one I... is he attacking? Well, that's the one true. That right one. Okay. You. I can oh, throw the, it at the, the prone one, one? attacking, too. I, I can oh, yeah. throw right axe oh, yeah. in the air, duh. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> that hits. I don't know if I get advantage with that. No I don't advantage. I think I do. Yeah. All right, okay. and then it does extra damage too. I think when I throw it, forget. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, an extra D eight. Nice. Oh yeah, yo. Very nice. Okay. I... That's it for me. All right. Uh, I, so... I think I can even do something else, but I don't really know. Like, I can't really throw an act, throw anything anymore, and I can't because I melee. You know what I mean? I don't. Yeah. yeah. I think that's all I can technically do, even though mechanics yeah. are confusing. Yep. Yeah, because you started your full attack, you only got one attack in, and there's nothing within five feet, so then your full attack stops, and your haste is to throw, so, yeah. Do you need Perfect. healing? I mean, no. Hmm. Can't you I'm just coming. walk into, the, into that thing that River did? Sorry. Yeah, get your little butt mm. to bed, young lady. I'm going to yeah, go to the right to come over yeah. here. I'm so, so, excuse okay. me, I need to go tuck in. I'll be right back. Hmm. Yeah, so, I'll, yeah, I'll just, I'll just move, like, right there to where Ellie is. And I'll step into the cauterizing flame then. Okay. Uh, no, since she it. stepped away, yeah, you can go ahead and just roll it this time. What was it? It was. I think bring your sheet 2D, up real quick. It was 2d10 plus 4. 2d10 plus 4. Okay. So 10, 10 healing. Perfect. Okay. okay. Alright. All right. Um, I'll move this off to the side so, so you can see where your character is. Um, okay. Well, it's gone now. Well, yeah, I know, just in case you need the corpse for any purpose, I'm kind of leaving it now with the X on it. So. How are you so psychic there, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next up is uh, Leo, and then after Leo is drawn. So Leo, your turn. All uh, right, uh, copy that there, uh, Bravo leader. Firing now. Uh, fire for effect over. And I'm going to fire at uh, Miss Casty Spelly person over here. The one on uh, the, the left? Same <laughs> okay. Yeah. I will hunters mark them. <laughs> okay. Apu, Leo, bring the rain. Hmm. Hunters mark is transferred. Okay. I don't know about rain, but I'll shoot some arrows. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, I am dropping on so the same thing as before, so let me know if it hits or not. So 18 will uh, not hit. All right, let's reroll that one because I can reroll one of mine. Actually, you don't have the plus two now because re. Oh no, re did attack. Okay, so, running, so, so I was specifically. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yep. What? Well, uh, shit. No. All right, well, second. We'll do. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 21 does hit. Okay. Yay. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Hey. So okay. 13 plus 10, yep. 23, 28, 36 on the, that one attack. Mm -hmm. Ouchies. And mm. then for my follow act, I'm going to do the same thing again. <laughs> you thought I was going to mm. cast a spell, you fools. <laughs> Young fool. I'll yeah. go to hell. I do have a reroll that I can use, but it's not my natural. I give you an inspiration. Oh. Inspiration card. Oh. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how that. Works. I don't know what that wor how that works. So right now he's at a thirteen. Just FYI. So. Uh, I'm just thinking which other one. A thir What do you mean a thirteen? His AC? No, his yeah, attack. Even an in even an inspiration wouldn't help. Oh, You'd have to okay. roll max on the inspiration in mm -hmm. order to. I'm pondering, I'm pondering, I'm pondering. I do have Got it. three rerolls. I just don't know if I want to use these here. Ah, oh, fuck it, let's do it. There you go. That does it. Okay. Just at the right time, Leo sticks his tongue out the side of his mouth, <laughs> which is all he needed. All right, and then 12. So 12, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 50 points of damage total. All right. Nice. Anything wow. else from Leo? Um, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll uh, strike a pose. I'm done. All right. Next up is Drum. Ellie, you're after Drum. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'll look at the dog and be like, "Oh, good boy. You hold him there for a bit," and uh, he'll he'll turn his head and look at River and say, "Shift to the other shoulder for a minute." <laughs> Moving. And as as she does, Drom's Drom's tattoos start to spin. Oh, and gross. Arcs, arcs of electricity go down his arm to his axe. He lifts his Ooh, arm. Sparkly. The axe turns into this freaking like spire of lightning, and he throws it at this one. At that one. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, it's the same to hit as the axe itself, according to this. So. I wish I could shoot my own flame bullets at the, 30? Same, at the same time. Uh, 30 hits. Okay, let me double check. This does... Uh, number D6 is equal to your proficiency modifier, so 5D6 lightning damage. Oh, oh my. Nice. Oh my. Nice. Barbecued spider? Ew. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. I have... Where is my... Unfortunately, my luck doesn't run I'll off I'll save on you time. You. Uh, the lightning crackles one side of it, and it proceeds to explode. Well, I can reroll both gross. of those ones. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to. You can if you want to. Fail. That one, one turns into No, nah, I'll, I'll save them. So Havlin explodes one of them with thunder, and Dromelin explodes the other one with lightning. And here's the, the to see if it gets recalled. No. So I'll have to go over and pick it up. Yep. <laughs> that one turns into flame. Oh, but actually, no, I'll use my bonus uh, action. You can in one now, of the... because you're in the same round. You've used your reaction already this round. Yeah, you already put a flame up. Uh, okay. Flame on! Yeah. I'll use my bonus action, since I did the, the, the shadows and stuff, to use the one of my tendrils will come up right where my axe fell and pick it up. Okay. <laughs> and that's my turn. Okay. So then next up is Ellie. And then River, you are after. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. It smells like burnt drider in here. Drum killed the one that's all the way on the left. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, 
what's going on with the one that's on his with his little leggy in the air? It's prone. Okay. So it's still alive. Okay. It just kind of fell over. All right. And is it yellow? You said before. Uh, yes. All right. I want. I want to go over and. Yeah, I finally got to use it. Stab mm. it. Okay. That's a hell of an ability. Attacks on Hello, Mr. melee Spider. attacks on something prone gives you advantage. So yes. go for it. So I guess I'll just do the thing I did last time. Oh wait, I read this wrong. On a hit, it automatically returns. Okay. So it, the lightning bolt goes through him and comes right back, and Drom catches it. Okay. <laughs> I just can't use it next turn. Sorry, the recharge is being able to use it again. Yeah. I, I apologize. Fancy okay. drum. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh. I don't know what to hit. I swear I do know how to read. <laughs> Liar. Hmm. You want me to roll it twice? Yeah, in case you hit a natural 20. Okay. You have advantage. Yeah, so it does hit. All right, and I'll get the damage. So nine damage. Then I will expend that first level spell slot. So if you're doing it for Firebolt, just keep in mind your Firebolt's going to hit with disadvantage. Melee attacks on a prone creature are with advantage. Ranged well, attacks on prone is disadvantage. Right. I will just do... Um, I'll just do Green Flame Blade then. That's fine. So you can just add that additional damage. Okay. Whoa. And then it's five more than that, twenty-five. Then. I don't understand that rolling. Wait. Oh, what? I don't know what the oh the twenty just added the two. Okay, so it's four damage. What? Oh, what weird. Yeah, so I don't know why it gave the total, but it's four damage to the target, and then it jumps. What's this backwards? Yeah, no, Green Flame Blade does more damage than that. Something the initial is... target. It so the went... initial target. Oh, so the one on the right is the initial target. That's 2d8 yeah. plus 5, so 16 damage. And 4 is the jumping, but there's really yep. nothing to jump to. So right. it'll just be 16 damage. Okay, there we go. But they add 5 to that, though. Right? Uh, Because she did the dance. Yeah, I did the... Um... When she extended. Arcane Fury. Yes. That's about adding the... Uh... Green oh, wait, Flame Blade is an odd attack. one because you have to hit with another melee attack for it actually... Roll another melee. attack with advantage. Would it be a plus five to the slashing damage? No, it's because 15. it's separate. So one is your attack, right? And then you get the ability to cast a cantrip as a bonus action. But the one that you're casting is actually requiring another hit. So it's kind of like you get another free hit. So roll okay. uh, an attack with advantage. Just a plain old attack? Yep. Just like you did the, the other ones. Just a normal melee attack with your weapon. Okay. My, with advantage. My, my window is not working right now. Hold on. Hold, please. Hmm? Hold, please. That. You want me to do that? And it's taking forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, not the damage, the actual attack. Oh, the hit. The hit. Yeah, the hit to it. Yep. Sorry. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You have advantage. You have advantage. Thank okay, God. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Turn on the cheat. Much better. Oh my God! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then, so that... That's the Hadalyn curse, 30. So that means your eight is <laughs> double. I, I just like how she said, now, now turn, turn on, on the, the curse. <laughs> and then it just... Poof. Yeah. So the 8 is double to a 16, but then, because you crit on the same one that's supposed to be Green Flame Blade, the 16 on that also gets doubled to 32, so yeah. Boosty. So you just did uh, 48 points of damage for dinner. plus 9. So you did 57 points of damage there. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I turn around and, like, give a little nod and a wink at Hadalyn. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> 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 
remember you're, you're up. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to go for the one on the roof. Ceiling. Thing. I'm trying to figure out which spell gives me the most damage. You know, I'm going to do Scorching Ray. Uh, What's the range a... on it? 120 feet. Okay. You're plenty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, not to I'm mention gonna... she's sitting sitting six and a half feet off the ground, too. Yeah, so that thing is 60 feet in the air. So. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she's three feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> I grew three and a half feet. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, I'm going to do this. Whee. Uh, 25 does hit. So it will take four damage. Okay. That's uh, three different doohickeys. Um, yeah, it ended up being a rays. total... Uh, wait. Oh, no, so that's each ray does four mm -hmm. damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, each so ray. 12 damage. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then I'm going to use my little flame spirit, and let me recheck the distance on this thing. It's 60 feet in the air? Correct. Is that like 60 feet from the ground or where I'm at? 60 feet from the ground. Cool. I'm going to try and hit it with Flame Seed, which is the ranged weapon attack on my spirit. And what's the range on your Flame Seed? 60 feet. Uh, so I don't think you're going to be able to get it. Because it's 60 feet in the air, but you're also eh, 20 true. feet away. So it's going to be too far for your flame seed. Can your uh, fire pet move? It can. So if you move it like directly underneath it, then you can just shoot up 60 feet. Okay, then I shall do that. Where would that be? Like where put it Balin next to Balin. Is? Yeah, you can put it next to Balin. Okay, not that button. <laughs> this button. There we go. Okay. Now where'd my other buttons go? There it goes. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm like all over the place right now. Oh, that's that's horrible. Ooh. That was a run. That was a one. Don't I get to re-roll that because of my lucky thing for halflings? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, because this is the the spirit, not the halfling. That's mm, right. But um, right. it's a it's a it's a d20, not an attack roll. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I can make mm -hmm. it re-roll it. Reed can, yeah. Do it. Okay, so do I go ahead and re-roll it? Mm-hmm. Re-roll. God, I can't talk to him. That's not better. Okay. Mm -mm. I don't have the cheat that Ellie has. So. <laughs> she oh, can't, to say she it hasn't activated it for pets yet. Yeah, I gotta get one of those. Mm -hmm. Alright, anything else? Nope. Okay. Um, so, it is their turn. So... The one on the bottom is going to right side himself. Kind of look around at his situation. It's kind of like Loki waking up at the end of the Avengers, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm rethinking my luck choices here. <laughs> this Kagon place is sounding real nifty. And... Too late to ask for that drink. He is casting. I mean, yeah. Anybody with yes. Arcana, can we check it? Mm -hmm. yeah, we won't be able to do anything about it. But I can still look at it. Oh, he's going to try to around. escape. I can't make him rerun that. <gasps> oh, you little. Oh. Okay. Even digital dice can be assholes because that so... thing landed on 20 and then moved. Oh. Uh, um... Can I give somebody some inspo? You can if you Not want. Hadalyn, it doesn't look like Because gonna... a one, and you said that it doesn't look like what? I don't know if any of you guys have anything to do, even if you figured it out. Technically, I can. Oh, okay. Because I still have a, a fourth level spell slot that I've been saving, but oh, okay. I mean, if it's then... real bad, I can use it to counter spell. I was just 
trying to keep it. Um, is 15 enough? 15 is no? enough to know the spell, but not what level it's being cast. But Well, that doesn't really matter because I don't have anything but a fourth. <laughs> yeah, it is casting a Dimension Door. And it's the one that's by Next Balin. to you. No, no, no. Or the, the one, one that's next to, to me. Yep. And it's actually isn't it like red? Like Mm-hmm. Red. This one is No, it's still yellow. The one next to you is still yellow. But I like double killed it with a mm -hmm. bunch of cheaty points. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You did. We don't want it to get away. Yeah, I know. Alright. I'll counter spell it. Okay. So it tried to dimension door and you stopped it. I think you're casting it at fourth level. Yeah, that's the only level I have left. Okay. Um, yeah, you're you're good. Because dimension door. You is stay right where you are. Spell. Okay. It does oh. not have any more higher slots. Um. I don't know if it has anything else it can do on it. Bonus. Um. Oh, wait, is this its turn? Mm-hmm. Did you do the Spirit Guardians thing for him? I did not. Uh, roll the damage. Yeah. That's mm. hard to remember. Yeah, I, I just remembered. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> It's oh, like yeah. almost we you know need a need spirit guardian's picture on the map or something. No, there's something I can do. Uh, where is it? Well, there was a one in there. Oh, I did. Let me turn the cheat on. <laughs> there we go. Except it's not hitting the one that's up. Yeah, yeah, the there. other one's in the air, but that's your 15 foot radius. Um. It does make the save. So, so ten. ten. Now it's in the red. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it is trying to rethink its life. Too late for that. <laughs> it doesn't really have much of an option at this Did point. Did it try to sell us death sticks? It is going to attempt to run down the stairs. So, uh, we'll kind of go in order. First one, Drum and River, <laughs> you get melee attack opportunities. Cool, I'm um, going for it. Actually, hold on. Um, Don't forget about the critter. Uh, River doesn't have a reaction because she used it on her flame, so she can't attack. Drum. Still moving with him. My reaction got used last turn, but not this turn. Because I don't have that ability anymore which ability was it the the, the minus five uh, plus one? five thing yeah okay so yeah i don't think you've used your reaction so you get an attack okay we're gonna two hand this one that, well poo that does not help you do have advantage, advantage, advantage with all the people around you do oh i do advantage. yeah okay it's basically surrounded at the moment let's button. see if that helps that oh. helps. Ba, ba, okay. Ba, 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 ba. For 15. Okay. It's still up. Um, Can I get one, too? Not yet. So it's moving. It's moving. And now, Ellie, you get one. Uh, no, you don't. You counterspelled. You use your reaction. Oh, that's right. And that's then right. it continues down. Reed, you used your reaction to change the natural one, right? Mm-hmm. So it proceeds to run. The platypus didn't get an attack of opportunity. I feel the platypus was just an Uh, Actually, good call. The hound should get an attack I was waiting for the venomous platypus. Finn, quit fucking <laughs> up my immersion. <laughs> we'll see if it actually... Can I try one of my reaction cards, too? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, it doesn't oh. hit. Let me pick out one that's not a DC 20. Reactive Surge DC 16. That sounds good. 
And it's actually a 15. Ooh, I have one. Um. Oh. Mine's a legendary. How does this work? Legendary means that it has just a very it. low... It has the lowest um, DC. Oh, okay. I keep on forgetting to use the, the Orcish Fury. I can... I where you can roll an additional damage die. So that should yeah. have been 2d10 instead of 1d10. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Who should I give the reaction to? Reactive Surge. Reed? I mean, Thanks. it's not that, not that big of a deal. I don't think. I'll just fire an arrow down the stairs yeah. after a minute. But... Yeah, it's just trying to run. It's not going to go very far before one of us kills it. I just thought I'd try to get my shot in on it. I mean, if you want to give me the reaction... I did. Okay. Yeah, let, let Reed do it. He'll do more damage than me I, anyway. He, he does a lot of damage. That's why I was like, hey, yeah. here you go. <laughs> Alright, so what do I got to roll for it? You D. roll a d20, and your dc is 13. Nice! Yes. Oh! <laughs> so as it runs past you, you can stabby stabby it. Uh... And that should be sneak attack and works. Uh, yeah, because you're stealthed. So it's a 25 to hit? Yep. It dies. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. hold on. Just in case. Night. Yeah, 25 to hit. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 42 damage? Yeah. So as I see it running at me, I'll sort of flop on my back and wait for it. As it runs over I just feel like. It. <gasps> oh my god, he did the Luke Skywalker Imperial 88. <laughs> I was thinking more like let it run and disembowel itself on my sword. <laughs> but it fell down an elevator shaft onto some bullets. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for the assist. Mm hmm Alright. Um Next up is it's so the top guy. Um so it's is going to... Yeah, it's going to take attacks at Balan again. Uh, misses the first. Misses the second. And misses the bite. Okay, this dice is going into jail. Um, okay. It is now Hylux's turn. Um, alrighty, so, how far away is the one on the ceiling total? Let's see. 60 feet from the ground, and then, uh, yeah, you're, what's this distance? It's like 50, so somewhere around 90-ish. So, I should be able to get within 60 then, right? 60 would be directly underneath it, pretty much. Oh, God, that would probably not. <laughs> So we're playing well, I, no, Pinata with to... the Drider. Oh, I see. Yes, well. Let's, uh... Exact distance is 78 feet from where you are. But to get to 60, you still have to get, like, underneath it. Right, okay. Um... I guess she'll like move up kind of to like there, I guess. Okay. And then. Just... Who, are you, who are you inspiring? No, she doesn't have any inspiration, she used unfortunately. It yeah. Oh, really? You need yeah, a card? Yeah, the cultist fight. Oh, you wow. You need a card? Yeah, oh. Halix mags are all empty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. So she's just gonna, she's gonna do the. Okay, so she's just keeping that up. At this Does point. the bunny need an inspiration? There's nothing really she can even use the inspiration for, so not really. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Unfortunately. An attack? Okay, so she's going to use it for a bonus action, because she's got a bonus. Well, no, there's no creatures within 60 feet. 
So mm-hmm. she can't. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is she's so the other creature so far away from her? It, yeah. it kind of makes it really complicated for her. So that's all she. She can really do. is the squishy. They're so far away from right. me. Um, this is gonna be fun. Um, so. Uh, you see, Balin. Kind of fly towards the top of the ceiling, kind of staying in range of the. Sp- the drider and okay well uh yeah i have the spell and let me do we have the spells spider crawl on <laughs> the ceiling is he going to do a creepy spider crawl on the ceiling mm, no like in phasmo no but this is probably going to be more fun i think anyways Oh boy. Okay, so uh, it needs to make a save. Ooh, it fails. So uh, you see Balin uh, move kind of around and gets closer to the ceiling than the drider, as the drider's kind of hanging upside down. And Balin kind of like skirts between the legs of the drider, gets underneath it, and you see the light form kind of fade away. At the same time, with the opposite hand, one hand is holding the Raven Queen longsword. Um, that's his right hand. With the left, you see him cast. So if you want to, you can roll a Arcana if you want to see what he's casting. Yo, now yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Better Hadlin, late than never. Hablin's not sure. <laughs> Ellie and River, you're aware. River, with your natural 20, you get a free reroll, so you can at least <laughs> keep that. Um, uh, Balan's casting Telekinesis. So, he <laughs> sh- basically pulls the Drider off the ceiling just down below and you see him pointing his sword directly at the drider and superhero landing as superhero landing telekinesis is also a uh concentration spell he loses his wings and they both come falling down to the ground as they hit the ground be careful the sword stabs the drider and Balin collapses on top of him. At no point did Balin actually open his eyes during this entire combat, from what you can see. Um, he is now collapsed mm-hmm. on top of the Drider, who is dead. And Balin uh, is eyes uh, closed and unconscious? Correct. He's in, that, from all you can turn. tell, the same kind of state that he was in before. Are we in so, a new round? Uh, combat's done. Well, combat's done. Okay. The f- so- Balan's well, passed out I, on top of her. Does he have a cigarette? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to see if well, I could turn it into flame to heal by Balan, but meh, there's two other flames going. Well, no, you can do it. Since still. combat's over, Drum's going to be like taken off towards Balan. Wee! <laughs> mm. Hang on, River! Mm. We're going And she is my Let's last go. fifth level spell. On Balin. Oh yay! Oh, oh nice. Uh, and that uses the last of the diamond dust that I had. Wow. So we need oh, more no, diamonds. No, I don't think we have any more at the giant vaults of Kegheim. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me rephrase that. That's the last that I have on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So anybody dies, you gotta wait a day or two. No, I uh, still have some diamonds, just no dust left. <laughs> Have, so Balin is still but, exhausted, but you see his eyes huh? awaken. I mean, it removes one the level of exhaustion. Yeah. He had two. Yeah. He had but two let's levels. See here. Yeah. But he's he's um, like kind of coming yeah, back. Yeah, I have one diamond left. I'm going to a poo, and I'm going to be like, somebody put the bunny in the flames. <laughs> I will I run over and grab, grab the bunny. Bunny. I got this, guys. I grab I'm my grabbing whip. the bunny by an ear. 
Oh, jeez. So everybody's grabbing an ear, apparently. <laughs> the poor bunny. No, I'm, I'm right next whip. to Hylix, so I can just... As you, as uh, Balan comes to, he sees that he's on a drider, and he kind of, like, freaks out a little bit. <laughs> God damn, Balan. How, how the hell did I end up here? Well, you started well, making out with her. It, it, it's a long story. It started with a bunch of dwarven spirits. Is that a lady drider or a, a boy drider? Yes. It is a yes. boy drider. Oh, Balan. <laughs> Getting spicy. That's a rarity. <laughs> We're not going to judge you, Balan. Okay, so did the That's bunny a lie, but okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, totally judgy. So I will start rage looting the uh, driders. Okay. Um, <laughs> With guidance. Roll a investigation. Well. Twenty-four the plus guidance. Did the bunny make it into the fire? You can. Yeah, you can get the bunny. The bunny is like he's willing to get healed. So yes. The cool. bunny hop. The bunny bunny hops into the fire just to shut everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Actually, I'm, can I walk into the fire too? I need some healing. Uh, yeah, anyone can. Well, I'm gonna start passing around heals while, while we're in the downtime here. Well, to save your spells. We can just uh... yeah, no, no, no. I, I'm good. We can yeah, short rest. Fine. Let's get the f out of here. Yeah, let's get the yeah. f out. Yeah, of short here. rest in here. That's, that's a good idea. Out of here. <laughs> Let's give this a moment. Let us flee Search these driders. Away. Listen, Quiet. I don't trust. Search the driders. Zombie. Then we're going to go and we're going to search the cultists we killed before. I thought you then we're already. getting the hell out of here. No, I didn't have time. Oh, let's just forget that shit. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> we're working on it. Uh, Can I no, give no, River a minute to this? Hold on. Two minutes doing this. We need more diamond dust and all sorts. And of Leo stuff. bravely ran away, away. <laughs> Smartly ran away. <laughs> Last time we all ran away from a big opportunity to loot. God knows how much platinum we lost out on. Zero. Okay. We lost so, zero. So the bloody read... cavern was falling on us. I made it out fine. It's a big stout fella like you. It shouldn't be a problem. It's just a little rock. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> Well, I mean, right well, you did survive the entire thing of it wailing on you that whole time there, Leo. Well, I mean, yes, but I mean, still, no. <laughs> I mean, you only died, what, three times in that yes, fight? Yes, like three or four times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your investigation was a 24, and you're looting all of the driders. Well, okay. 25. Well, 25 with the 25. guidance. Yes, okay. 25. What is everyone else doing, just so I know, while Reed is... Um... Actually, here, I will go through and start banding people up while we're, well, reading I'm searching, going so. To... Mm. River, is that 16 for me? Yes. Just, okay. just not you. healing, but, you know, Stabilizing. tending I'm going to do that. Uh, I have a... River's on so... top of draw. <laughs> just put it up yeah. here and drop it around his head as he's trying to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Drom, what's the what's that twenty six? You're bandaging people. He's he's just stabilizing it, it would, it, and general tending, you know, yeah. you know yeah, bandaging up wounds and the, stuff. Mine was supposed to be the aura of life, and apparently I'm just not feeling it today. Oh yeah, so everybody ends up taking one. <laughs> I'm, I'm guarding. But that's okay. Well. That stops that stops bleeding. Yeah. One point of damage will will stop bleeding. So. Okay. Um, so what is everyone else doing? So re, uh, Drom is doing the kind of stabilizing everyone. Um, River is doing one point of healing for people. Uh, oh, I already Reed did 16 is... points of healing for uh, <laughs> I know. Ellie. I know. You're, I'm doing my part. Throwing people into a fire. Um, Reed, yep. <laughs> is, Reed is investigating. Uh, Balin is still trying to figure out what's going on. Um, Ellie was getting healed, Hylok was getting healed, right? And Leo, yes. what are you doing? I'm running ahead, bravely, because I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> Which Scouting way are you running? Scouting to see if anyone's out on, in the here. The way we came in, Finn, to get the fuck okay. out of here. Okay, yeah, so, so you're... I don't like follow, that. Let's have Bale and TPS. Okay, so Hadlin and <laughs> Leo are going down the stairs? Well, this is... I'm don't you listen to how he's talking. 
Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to like the the, the 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 exit of the stairs and garden, basically. Okay, so you're not going into the stairs. You're just kind of guarding the stair entrance. Yeah. In case more okay. sloppily dry to show up. Yeah, you and need to to clarify Leo? it because with with Hadland, if you're going into something, that usually means through something. Mm. Leo, oh, yeah. oh, are you going what? down the stairs? I'm going down the stairs. Okay. Uh uh-uh. uh. So Leo's leaving you guys Keep basically. Goodbye, Leo. It was nice knowing you. Oh, oh, River. If you've only <laughs> seen how many times I have been down this road, <laughs> many, many, many times. That's why I just let him go. I was like, well. Where are luck, you Leo. going to, Leo? I'm getting. Oh, okay, dear. we came in one way, Finn. You're just trying to go straight out the exit. Yes, because unless okay. no one knows of another exit that I'm not aware of, that's the way I want to get the fuck out of here. Are you asking people, or are you just moving? Well, since I am a ranger, <laughs> and I can pick up on these things, Finn, I figure we haven't seen any other exits, so I'm going to go with logic. Okay. <laughs> so if we came in one way, and there's no other way I out. I don't know, I feel like there's it. something okay. amiss. Leo, so, I think you should I'm, stay with the crew. I'm sure there is. Finn's up to shenan- shenanery. Uh, I'm never up so. to shenanigans. Okay. <laughs> Insert Finn's smiley face here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I will stealth and go ahead and scout. That's okay. what I do. So, all of a sudden, are we getting the, the meme of, like, six oh. driders standing behind uh, Leo on a couch? Yep. Uh, yep. This is. And it dumps their fire. Like, this is fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. This is fantastic. Okay. Um, right. So and Leo's just making coffee. He don't give a shit. <laughs> Jesus. Bad things are about to happen. I just feel it. All right. So, uh... That then is gets us to Reed. So, uh, Reed. So the rest of you guys are all healing and doing other stuff. Reed, the four mm-hmm. riders that were not on the ceiling, uh, they have their long swords on them and a longbow. Um, they're all you can see marked with the symbol of Loth on them. Um, the long swords appear to be uh, well crafted, but not necessarily magical, from what you can tell. Of course. However, they did have some kind of magical property to them when they were being wielded by the driders. Um, but right now, they don't have anything. So there, if you wanted to, there are eight uh, long swords of Loth. Um, there are also four longbows that appear to be ordinary longbows with just a marking of lock, but not to the same quality that the long swords were. Um, Can Adeline get an idea like what type of uh, uh, like element or material they're made out? Yeah, you can uh, do a investigation. Yeah, can I, I join I, in on that? Well, I should get advantage from my dwarvenness. Yeah, that, I'm trying to. Yeah. You won't be able to because you are with Drom. All right, elsewhere. I'm still over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so Bad 13. Um, you can tell that it's some sort of steel, but you're not able to make out too much more. It's just steel. Who cares? <laughs> All right, so it's nothing special. Could we have, could we have them uh, maybe purified or whatever? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> um, okay, I'm only accepting Mithril or better. Um, so... <laughs> That brings right, us anything to anything with the longbows. Hold on, hold on. Anything mm-hmm. with the longbows? They appear just to be regular longbows. They just have a symbol of lot marked on them, but there's nothing about them that you can figure out with your. All right. Any cash or anything on these things? No, no money. All right, the leader ceiling guy. Yeah. So on him, you find three things. Uh, actually, four things. One is a artist rendition of Havlin. Two by Togar. <laughs> by Togar? <laughs> uh, two. You find a divination crystal. Three. He is currently wearing a belt of frost giant strength. Uh-oh. Nice. Ooh. And four. He has a pendant on him that has a symbol of Loth. (sighs) 
All right. Uh, I will immediately take the belt off him and toss that to Hadlin. Kind of smells like dried her. So do you. I will press the digitate it. Oh, maybe you. that was me. <laughs> what would yeah. you like it to smell like, Hadlin? I'll press the digitate it for you. Uh, a, a mix of like tobacco and maybe like you know some cinnamon, something like that. There you go. Okay. It, so let it be written. So let it be done. So tobacco uh, and cinnamon belt? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Alright, the divination crystal. Uh, mm -hmm. I look over at Ellie. Say, take a look at this. I'll hand her that. Uh, the picture of Hadlin. I'll also hold up and look at Hadlin with it. Say, well, they have an idea I'll, of who I'll you are. My, I, I put my hand underneath my chin and kind of tilt my head. Ellie will snatch the picture the... from uh, Reed's hand. I'll take that, too. It is not a flattering picture, just FYI. Yeah, he's got and the guts and the beard is about up. six inches short. Uh, pendant symbol aloft. Uh, is there anything special about this as I sort of maneuver it around with a dagger? Um, roll a... I could detect magic on it. Will that help? So, so, so could I. I assume you all are kind of getting closer. Oh, Reed can use right? a spell. Yeah, use a spell I'm, I'm, I'm going to use the tech closer? magic on it because uh, you uh, when yeah. you uh, you meant you mentioned the I assume you mentioned the pendant to the group, right? Well, yeah, I'm sitting here poking it with a, a dagger okay. as I'm moving it around their chest, and I'm like, "Yeah, what do you think of this thing?" And I'll cast detect magic. Uh, uh, it is magical. Yeah, Drum's good. See that and go. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't touch that. Well, yeah, I just want to make sure it's not going to, like, explode or teleport us or anywhere, you know. Um, so, for those that are around, uh, you can roll one of three things, whichever one mm. that you want. Mm. Arcana, history, or investigation. Oh, I know which one I'm going with. Turn the cheat button on. Well, I have none of those as uh, proficient, so I won't roll Your cheat button doesn't work for me. None of oh, us Which one's higher here? I think I broke it. Oh, we got above a 20, so I think it's working. What about uh, religion? Uh, so, Balan actually figures it out. The other one was investigation. What was that? No, I was remembering what you said is Arcana investigation and something else. Or history. history. That's all right. Balan history. got it. That's what it yeah. was. Yeah. I've been rolling well with Balan for you guys. That's yeah, helpful. Yeah. Um, that symbol looks awfully familiar. And Balan kind of looks at it, hands behind his back. I'm not going to touch it. And then Good. <laughs> it's a little closer. Oh, that's comforting. Uh, he takes out a dagger, kind of uses it as a pointer. He kind of motions for Hadlin to move closer. I think I know what you're going to say. It's from the wall in Kegheim, isn't it? That is what it looks like. I know. That, that door, it oh, seems no. like part of it. Uh-oh. Oh, great. So do we take I, it? I'm still a little worried that I knew you were going to say that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, yeah, we take it, but we gotta put it in something. Yeah, we gotta take it now. Um, we can put it in the bag of holding, right? Reed? Yeah, put put it in the bag of holding for now, and Should then we wrap uh, in anything else first. Or, I mean, if we have like a box of just iron, I mean, I I definitely got that. I mean, I got like so much crazy shit on me. I'm sure I got like some kind of a box of, made of metal and just. Flop it inside that, and then flop it inside the bag. I'll uh, I'll go into my pack. I'll pull up my mess kit, uh, where I've got a, a collection of pots and pans and such, and I'll uh, clap it into the two bowls together, cut the necklace free, and then I'll tie it off with some string and put that in the bag of holding. Okay. Do you want me to just you know flame seal that shut? Do I like to be able to open it again and it's you know, 
bowl. You sure, we want to open that again? Yes, yes, we need to. <sighs> okay. Like, it's, it's my lucky bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you use your lucky bowl for something silly like that? You need that to eat with. Use another bowl. I got five other bowls, but that's the lucky one. But why the lucky one? Because I figured okay, good luck to here. keep it safe. It's... I want to go now. Meanwhile, Drom is walking up, walking away with her on the shoulder, and it, she's she's getting louder and louder as she's screaming back to Reed. <laughs> where, where did Leo go? Ah, uh, who knows? I think he ran down the stairs. Alan, is it safe to walk out of here? Well, we can, but I was going to bring this place down and teleport us out. Thank you. But I think first, that's a great let's idea. Let's bring it down. I like that. We're Stop. A poo. Leo, Stop. you need to come back. <laughs> Stop. Cultists. We searched the cultists first. No, I don't want to go back in there. A poo, Leo. We're being teleported out. You there might be back. something else. Well, in there. Leo, you got to the room with the cultists. You're not searching them, right? You're just heading out, right, Leo? Leo? Oh, Hello. he's making out with one of them. Did he leave? <laughs> no, he's still in here. He might have won F K though. Yeah, Leo. Oh, sorry, I'm back. Mm -hmm. Have to go pee pee. Anyway, yeah. Apu, Leo, we're uh, did you? Out uh, here and back. Oh, okay, then I come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're in the room with the cultist, so you might as well search him. Oh, let's see how that goes. Okay. Well, do you out. see okay. anything? Does he but have to that, roll to that, see if he sees what... anything? Let me just like, do my investigation skills here. Because right. are there enemies like, or I'll, other I'll problems? Save you the Look, time. can we just go yeah, down the stairs? Oh, hold on, let let him talk. Let him talk. Oh, you, yeah. do, so you do you do a I've thorough been, search been, I, and you yes, find I've five gold. Searched. I found five gold. Suck on <laughs> that, Reed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, five gold. Let's go. I feel um, so belittled. <laughs> Hadlin, how's that belt of frost giant strength fit? <laughs> I mean, I can't, you know, put it on. I feel like I'm limited to a certain number of slots for at least a day before ooh, I can make I, it I could put it on. Ooh, it feels like, ooh. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have eaten that extra chicken before we came here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, someone else can put it on, sure. Yeah, I can throw it to Leo, sure. Yeah. Well, I will intercept that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the strongest halfling ever. <laughs> well, that's what I mean, because I'm full on attunement slots. I'd have to attune to the belt in order to use it. I can't. Well, no, yeah, but it, that's I think the saying. bigger question is, can you transfer that to another belt? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Well, no, you no, already I... had nice things. Get out of here. Hold on. Belt of Frost Giant Strength. What's that bring his strength to? 23. 23. Yeah. So think of the benefits that gives you. My strength's already at 20. Yeah. This will get you to a seven proficiency, so it's I adding can't your damage. Any, I can't lose any of my other items. Oh, I can't. Like I just straight can't. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. no, Ellie could oh take it. God. Literally, it's perfect for Ellie. She's got a free That's attunement true. slot. She attacks in melee, so I mean, she could use no. it too. Well, she uses no. she uses her intelligence as a yeah, damage. Uh, I can opt for it. What about your belt that you already have? Maybe we discuss that after we get out of this hellhole. Yes. Here we go. Oh, we're, 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 please, we're, we're, I agree with Balin on uh, this. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from casting while we're talking. I think we need to be in a circle like the Sailor Moon Scouts when they go to space. <laughs> I'm going right next to Balin, please. Well, I, I thought I heard Balin say something about bringing the place down. Well, well. then we still might want to be close. Come on, Drom. Let's go over here. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, do that. Okay. So, uh, Balan kind of moves towards the start of the staircase over here. And you see him cast good old Earthquake as once you guys all clear out, of course. Um, he brings down, starts bringing down the walls kind of in the area of that symbol that was there. And then as everything is kind of crumbling in and this area starts to cave, 
uh, behind you on the staircase. Teleportation circle is cast. Yay. I am out of spells on Balan now. Yay. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> uh, I assume everyone goes. No, I thought and... I'd stay in the earthquake. <laughs> no, Leo changed yes. his mind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, you find yourself back in the temple of the Raven Queen in I give Vasselheim. Reed, I give Reed the five gold I found. Like, look what I found there, Reed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did a pretty thorough job, those boy. I most impressive, sir. <laughs> Are you mocking me? I thought I did a thoroughly good job. I suck. Dinner's on Leo. <laughs> no, no, I gave no, no. See, I gave the money to Ruby. Uh, that's negating the no, what? No. And then, as you guys uh, make your way uh, out of the teleportation circle, you are met by. The same elderly elf. Are you still the cursed child there? And I think we're all cursed children now. <laughs> and Balan kind of looks. I I don't think so. But I'm not sure. And then she kind of motions him f to come closer. And he moves closer and you see her remove the glove on his left hand. As it slides off, you all that are familiar with it can see that what used to have the eye in the middle of his palm has now gone and replaced it with a raven that kind of goes from his mid forearm all the way down to his palm with the beak of Ooh. the raven uh, in his palm and the body kind of along his forearm. Nice and, tat. <laughs> and she looks at Balin. I guess the cursed child is gone. And she kind of just turns away and starts walking uh, into her, her little office. And she kind of looks back at Balin. Come. And... Balan follows. Uh, what do you all do? Uh, Did she mean for all of us to come or just Balan? She didn't say anything one way or the other. She was directing it at Balan, and Balan followed oh. her, but she didn't say anything about you guys. Oh my <laughs> god, I'll inside check this line, wench. Can I do that uh, too? Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Drum's, drum's following. Yeah. I and know, so is River following. if she's still on, on, on his shoulder. <laughs> oh. River is going to turn into a bird suddenly and not fall anywhere. <clears throat> not fall. Timeline. No, oh, yeah, follow. follow. Oh, yeah, I'm following. I heard fall, so my bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ellie, you're not really sure exactly what her intentions are. Ranger, or uh, Leo, you are... I mean, she seems indifferent as to whether or not anybody else is there. She's more on focusing on Balan coming with her, so oh. it doesn't seem like it would well, be any imposition if you came. Well, it does seem private, though. I mean, I mean, that seems like everybody else is going, so... Okay, <laughs> goddammit. <I'm laughs> trying to be polite. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, uh, you all make your way with uh, the elderly elf in the lead, bound close behind, and then the rest of the group uh, make her way into her... Uh, into her office and when she goes there she kind of goes behind her desk um, ruffles through some things I'm glad you've returned I've been waiting to give you this wasn't sure when you would be trustworthy enough but now I can see that you are and she pulls this large book from behind her desk and hands it to Balin. And Balin kind of looks at it. Um, you see his eyes kind of go wide a little bit. And he looks up at her. Are, are you sure? And she says, yeah. You can be trusted now. Do with it what you will. And uh, Balin turns towards Hadlin. 
Um, I'd like to make a donation to the King's Library of Kegheim. And he hands you... Accepts. He hands you the book. Uh, roll an arcana, Hadlin. Uh, Ooh. you are in possession of the Tome of Understanding. Ooh. So whoever reads this Fancy. book, um, they'll need to spend two days reading it, um, over six days and whatnot, and they will increase their wisdom by two. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good for your wisdom, casters. Uh, River and Drum, which one of the two? Uh, I'm drooling over that. Drum, Drum's jaw hits the floor when Hadlin says that. Is well, Hadlin hasn't use? said anything. Hadlin just. Well, if Hadlin yeah. says that. Is it Can single River, use? It is Can single River use. sit on his shoulder and yeah, read tones. with him? Well, it's not single use, actually. It's one use per century, actually. Oh my god. Yeah. So is it even active right now? It is active right now. Mine's an 18 plus 4 already. <laughs> so is mine. Uh, well, it looks like we're now for a good old uh, bar fight for it. Arm wrestle! <laughs> he would win! Mine's only a 14. Yeah, yeah but you have a 23 there. strength now. <laughs> yeah, you're good, dude. You're great. <laughs> the swole rogue. I mean, there's also uh, a certain <laughs> cleric of the Raven Excuse Queen me. Temple at Kegheim that could use it, too. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, oh, but she's stinks. Who threw that out there? I shoot them. Um, as and Reed, you're kind of getting your bearings. You guys landed in the Raven Queen Temple and uh, immediately kind of went into the office of the lady. And as mm. soon as like you get a moment and you kind of feel more adjusted with where you are versus that eerie feeling you had gotten from where you had just been in your hands like five different letters pop up i'll uh, look over at reed and be like uh oh and to summarize uh there are some that are angry asking why you're not responding and there are others that are saying that uh, Bailey is getting ready for the, the exchange. Where and are they all from? Uh, Grady. Hadwin wants to say something when he gets mm -hmm. the tome and knows what it is. Yep. He, Go for it. He, uh, thank you. And he says, finally, I'll be as wise as I am handsome. Where do I start? <laughs> it will not help you, Great King. Hmm. Wanted to scare the wisdom casters like I was going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> you scared them into silence. <laughs> <laughs> Trauma activates his belt. Sure, I'll go ahead and read it. <laughs> Honestly, I think Jom should take it. Nah, I'm joking. I'd leave it up to you guys on who, who should take it, to be honest. Yeah, but Jom Regardless, plays a it's going to benefit us either way. Hmm. Yeah, there's. there's. I mean, we yeah, we can discuss who gets the item later, like in Discord. Yeah. We don't need to do that now. Yeah. We'll discuss yeah. it later. What do you guys do now? Uh, Baron. Yeah. Uh, in the morning, once everyone's rested up, um, between either you or the Raven Queen's Temple here, I still have to get over uh, to the Barbed Fields. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be able to go straight to a place called Bozaks, are you? Mm, no, I'm not familiar with that place. How about Jigawo? No, can't Just say I am. Jigawo. 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 Jigawo.
to gal. Everywhere I, know. I like, I liked it the way he it. said it first. <laughs> Why are you well, going over the, there? I said it the dwarven way, he said it the halfling way. Uh, a friend of mine has been captured. They're doing an exchange in the barbed fields. I want to make sure it goes smooth. How about, uh, Rosanna? This isn't a place that River has been to, is it? I don't think any of you except maybe Reed have been there. I don't think any of us have been to Rosh Hashanah either. Because <laughs> if River's been there, then Great I holiday. can transport yep. us through It's called Rosh Hashanah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. How about uh, Urzen? And I'll raise you with a Hakuna Matata. Uh, <laughs> Alright, if nothing else, we've been to the Ashguard garrison before. Yes. Maybe we get there and then maybe polymorph and fly across. Yeah, most of you have not had any reason to go into Jorhas. So. Nobody in her right mind has a reason to go into Jorhas. I mean, I want to go to Jorhas. I want to go to, you know, we're looking for something, but, you know. Well, I was going to say, if River has been there, I could teleport through the plants and get there. Yeah. All right. First case scenario, Ashgard Garrison. Uh, and then, uh, how many of you have Polymorph? Uh, I do. So does Isla. And, and River can Polymorph all of us with one spell, technically. Yeah. Could. Oh, uh, she's mass polymorph. Animal shapes. Oh, okay. So then, Finn, just out of curiosity, how long would it take to get from Ashgard Garrison to someplace we'd have to rendezvous in the barbed fields? Um, I also have polymorph. Let me look at the map really quick. go big on the other screen on one second. I mean, we could go, like you're saying, Reed, to, to the Ashgard garrison and potentially hire someone that could teleport us there. It'd be expensive, but I know that fees and services like that exist. If they even have a teleportation circle there, but I mean, if we could all turn into birds or something and fly... Well, why don't we go back to Zadash, where the prince is at? I'm sure he has some kind of teleportation or way to get there. Yeah, Ashgard Garrison to Barbfield is probably about a four-day travel comfortably. Three days if you decide that you want to get there, like, exhausted. Even if we're flying? Uh, your speed... Does your speed become 60? It depends on, I guess, what you turn into. Or we could do eagles and be 120. Yeah. yeah, I could do that. I could turn us into giant eagles, actually. But... Mm. You can turn everyone into giant eagles? I have to recheck the spell if it hey, works that way, but I'm trying even to do if the just like half. will work. <laughs> you know, or even like two people and they can carry a few of us, or... But yeah, uh, with flying and increased speed, probably about two days to get over there. Are they bringing yeah. her into the Empire, though, from Jorhas? That's what the prince had said, yes. They're exchanging that Can we just goblin. meet them at the border? Can we just meet them at the I border? Will, uh, I will write a letter back to Grayley. Uh, sorry, he was stuck in a Vecna temple. Um... Where's the exchange to happen, and when? Crumple it up, uh, druid craft, flame it, and send it. Okay. I'll let you know when you get something back. And then what are you guys doing in the meantime? Eat and so rest? I can do large or smaller beasts with a challenge rating of four or lower with uh, animal shapes. Well, we're not doing anything until we find a place to sleep for the night. And yeah, right. Rest. 
you have court you have like beds that you can use here at the all right let's take a bath and get some rest we are we are not doing anything until we yeah rest. long rest um, I'm gonna you get, go a, get them ice cream. You get a note back, uh, Reed. Mm -hmm. uh, Ashgard Garrison, one day. Okay. Okay. So is everybody long resting? Eating yep. and doing their yep. usual stuff? <laughs> yep. Okay. Anything long you guys... Rest. Any conversations you guys want to have or anything? Before going to sleep, I will okay. just go to Hatlin. I'll let him know the exchange is going to be at the Asgard Garrison in one day. So we just have to be there. Great. Well, then that's where we'll go. And I'll uh, write a reply letter to Grayley. Uh, I'll be there as soon as I can. I'll be there before the exchange, though. And send it off. Okay. Alright. So if there's no other conversations, you guys can hit your long rest. And we will call it for this session. Uh, so we will be off for the next three weeks, just FYI. Um, there might be a rescheduled one in the middle, potentially, so just be on the lookout in the Discord if we do any additional one, but um, yeah. Uh, yay! We yay. lived! So you guys can decide what you want to do with all the magic stuff, and then you, apparently you guys are making your way over to Ashgard Garrison for the trade. So all kinds of fun stuff next time. So uh, with that, we'll get some last Yay. words from everyone, starting with Miss Ellie. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I wasn't prepared. Well, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Sweet rest. Huh. Reed? Uh, happy Father's Day to everyone out there. Yes. Definitely happy Father's Day. Uh, mm -hmm. Next one, Hadlin. We will always remember this temple to Vecna and the wall I ran through. <laughs> <laughs> Drum. Uh, let's go with Balin, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> River. Pat Drum's head. We shouldn't listen to them. <laughs> and Leo. Masturbation. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, Leo. Wow. And I'm, if anything, I'm consistent. Well, you didn't huh. perform during the battle. <gasps> oh. Against my most hated enemy? No, I wouldn't do that. Shots fired. Oh. All right. Well, and with that, and they're we're mostly guys. Get, call you it. know, I mean, they're mostly All guys. Right, so don't have to judge. You know. Oh, well, right. No, but Leo. I mean, Leo. He likes the that. ladies. You know Bye. what I'm saying? I mean, you know. I mean, 